Hello? Hello, 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 friends? How are we doing? Look, there's sunshine today, finally. Woohoo! Let's play with lights. So good to see you, Bonk, Vune, Scat, Mish. We hear and we see. Hi. Hi there. Welcome back. Welcome back, friends. Kimmers, thanks for being first today. Friends, I feel a lot better than yesterday, if you can't tell. I said to Rando, like, 90% better today. Doing so much better. Bonk. <laughs> I had to laugh before anyone asks. Just so we know, we hate the day shift, but we will adapt. I know, yesterday I was like, wait, where's Bonk? I was like, oh yeah, it's Friday. No more Bonk, but at least we had Annie now. We have Annie as a sit-in now that he's done school, so you guys kind of switched out, so it's good still. Vune, how are you? Chef Sino, welcome back. Scat, you working today or you're off? And Dust? How you doing, Mish? Did you already make your koftas, Mish? Or are you actually like eating late, late night with us and cooking along? She maybe did a pre-cook. Yeah, where's Bonk at work? Uh, just like Finn. Finn used to be able to like watch us at least just at work, but they have completely blocked Twitch. None of that stuff. No fun and games. But YouTube, totally fine. Totally fine. Mish says the koftas are done and eaten. How were they? Did you follow the recipe that I'm going to use? Scat, you're off grabbing lunch before some house stuff. Yummy. What's lunch today? What's on the menu? Weasel says, what's up? What's up, Weasel? Welcome back. Good to have you. Okay. So we're cooking for Mish today. Mish, thanks for saving up the 75,000 pots and pans. Just watching the stream. It doesn't cost her anything. Just her time. Time and community engagement. And absolutely wonderful request. I don't actually think we've made koftas on stream before. And especially not with lamb. So it's going to be special. It's like a, what should we say? More like Middle Eastern than Mediterranean, I feel. Very yummy recipe and fit your watermelon salad perfectly. Nice. Yeah, we're going to do like a tomato cucumber sort of salad on this side because we need veggies too. Oh, blue apron prepared chicken Alfredo. A six out of ten, Scott says. Dang it. If only there was a little bit more love in there, hey? Twitch lover, welcome back. Okay, so I don't think I posted the menu yet, so let's go over that. Lamb kofta plate. So we're going to butcher the lamb leg. It is boneless. So we're just going to maybe clean it up a bit, cube it up, put our meat grinder in the freezer while we do that. We'll mince it ourselves, and then it gets mixed with like some spices, some yummy aromatics. And you like form it into a long style meatball on a skewer. And then we're gonna grill it over charcoal. And then we're gonna do homemade, our own hummus, a like herbed yogurt sauce that's really yummy for dipping, bringing everything together, and a tomato cucumber salad for freshness. We will sprinkle feta cheese all over the salad <laughs> just for Mish. And then Sammy's gonna bring these by a little bit later. Same with the tahini for the hummus, just some pita breads for dipping. Still like resting up, so not doing any baking today. We're just going to pick up the pita breads. But if you've been around for a bit here, you know that we often do make them from scratch. So I am conserving my energy. <laughs> yeah, right, Bonk? YouTube's totally fine. And yeah, that's exactly what they do at Finn's work as well. Yeah, no baking today, Kate? I'm out. See you later. Unfollowed. <laughs> Here is our recipes that we will be following today. The first one is the recipe for the lamb kofta mixture, as well as the yogurt sauce, then the hummus, and then our salad. So it should be like pretty quick and easy, I would say. Samo is, oh, he's charging the car. 
And then, like I said, in a couple hours, he'll bring by the tahini and the pita bread. So maybe the hummus will be made like closer to the end of stream or whenever he gets home. But yeah, we're doing good. Had a good night last night for deliveries. Didn't have to stay out too late and got really good sleeps. Good rest. Okay, so first thing, like I said, we're going to deal with the lamb because that's probably the longest process for today. Good morning, Mary. How are you? Okay, lamb. Butcher. And mince. I'll put spices. I think we'll mince a lot of the spices like in through the meat grinder when we grind the lamb together. I know, Mish, you did yours with beef just because it was a little bit less expensive. Totally okay. Still going to be just as good. But yeah, I always find that you let the meat grinder do a lot of the work for you. It'll mince it all together and do like a really nice mixture. Then you don't have to overwork it later on. <laughs> That's so funny, Bonk. Just do what you can to get by. That's how it be. Okay, the spices, and then I'm also going to pop up the recipes for myself too. So in the lamb mixture, we got onion, breadcrumbs, garlic, uh, cilantro, the spices, cumin, coriander, paprika, a little bit of cinnamon, yum. Cayenne pepper if you want to make it a bit spicy, and obviously salt and pepper. Mmm. This is going to be so good. And yeah, it's a nice day outside finally. So we'll be cooking over the fire later. And I don't think these will take that long to cook. What did it take you, Mish? Like, I'm thinking maybe 15 minutes cooked over the charcoal. Okay, butcher mince with the spices. And then we will form onto the skewer. Perfect. And then obviously cook later. Like an hour total. Sweet. Okay, that was nice and quick then. And yeah, obviously if you buy your meat pre-ground, it will go quicker. But I like to really control what goes in our mince. So we like to go from like primal cuts and grind it ourselves. Okay, that's the lamb. I will just write down some of the other accompaniments that we have to make. Our yogurt sauce. Nice and simple. The hummus. Our tomato cuke salad. Underneath, we put feta. <laughs> and then the pitas, and I think that's it. Uh, rice could also be an option for you if you don't want to eat the pitas. But we had rice yesterday, right? Yeah, we had rice yesterday, so we're not going to have it again. No, we didn't. The day before, we made a little family meal with everyone. Okie day. Just gonna go grab the lamb. Maybe first I will grab all of our metal pieces for the meat grinder. Pop that in the freezer at the same time. What's everyone else getting up to today? It really feels like this summer is just flying by now. Yeah, we had Philly goodness yesterday, I know. I realized that, Mary. I was like, wait, no. We had a very cheesy stream yesterday. And then, so, lamb is like pretty soft. But I think I'm gonna go a little bit finer for the mince. I'm gonna go with this one instead of this one. Just because I think it'll be nicer with the spices and stuff and for forming it together. Thanks, Anonymous Cheer, whoever you are, for the 106 biddies. Sending us up to an even 80% through our goal. Amazing. Yeah, yesterday was good. And it's not a super long VOD scat. But yeah, super, super delish how everything turned out. I'm just going to put this whole box back now. Back in the cupboard. Save counter space. Yeah, 
the meats yesterday? Man. You were gonna do yard work, but you said nah. Got to defrost some ground beef fast for some soup. Ooh, what kind of soup? <laughs> Imagine Philly cheesesteak with rice. It'd probably be really good. Mmm, a sweet potato casserole bonk. Going to a potluck potato birthday party tomorrow. Everyone's bringing savory. So you're throwing a wrench in the works and going sweet. I like that. It's like one of the few things I like sweet potatoes in the casserole. Do you do the like pecan topping? Toss beef and veggies in a pot and add some spices. I like it. That's fun when you cook like that. And hi, Wilson, how are you? Welcome in. I will be back in a moment. So freeze your meat grinder pieces so you get a really nice grind later. And this is an important one. This is something that we are taught. So don't skip this step. It's also for like sanitary reasons as well. It's really dark in here now, hey? <laughs> okay, we'll do that then. We'll turn on the lights. Pecans, holiday spices, brown sugar. Yes, that does sound good. Boom. There's our lamb. Turn that one down a bit. No. Ooh, a pot of pinto beans cooking. Nice one, Wilson. Magical Irish wizard, how are you? <laughs> Your whole mate? <laughs> so yeah, we did a boneless lamb leg. It's Australian. And then 1.7 kilos for $42. That's not that bad. Like, this is going to make a bunch of stuff for us. And it doesn't really seem like lamb has, like, skyrocketed in price either. So, what's the better side here? I think this one. The house is smelling yummy, I bet. So, you got our cutting board. Let's get a bowl to put our lamb cubes into. And actually, maybe a little bit of a bigger bowl would be smart because we want to toss it with some of the spices and stuff, right? Before we grind it. So we'll go with this big blue one to make it easy. A magic harp. Very nice, guys. And let's put this just on the steel, our boning knife. Oh yeah, candied yams. I don't think I've ever had that being up here in Canada. I have made the pecan topping one though, and that's really good. And then last time we made it, we baked it on the big green egg. So it had this like charcoal flavor in the nuts. That was good. Charcoal flavored nuts. <laughs> We're supposed to be whole mates, Mish. Just prepping my garbage for this juicy meat bag here. That is not a good saying, though. Juicy meat bag? Oh, goodness, Kate. And yeah, I'm doing good. I'm doing good, Magical Irish Wizard. Thanks. Scott, you want a baked sweet potato and a shot of maple syrup now? Mmm, that's a good way to have it. This smells good. And what do I mean by that? It doesn't really smell like anything. So first step, we have to like take off this uh, roast elastic thing that's holding it together. 
this is the easy way of tying a roast up is you literally just like slide the meat through this tube and it falls into this like netting. I don't really see this being okay for cooking though. Like there's elastic bands in here. Why would you want to cook like plastic on your meat? Samo. We got a Samo Sam. Did you find all this stuff? So get rid of that. And then we have this beautiful lamb leg to deal with here. And since lamb is like quite a young animal, right? It's okay if you leave a little bit of the connective tissue, but just look for the really thick stuff and that's what we'll take away. You went for a walk, nice. No herbs in sight again. So good thing Randall and Finn got us the herb planter. Except the, we still need parsley, I think. Gotta add parsley into the planter. And yeah, it's okay to leave some of the fat in too, but I will say this. For lamb, a lot of the like really gamey, strong lamb flavor is in the fat. So if you don't like things to taste too lamby, make sure you clean all of the fat away. That'll help you out. But a good quality lamb shouldn't really taste too gamey to begin with. Cause then it's probably going towards mutton at that point. We love a good tubed herb. <laughs> well, that's what we're using for the cilantro in these today. Okay, so I see this piece is just like kind of hanging off. And that's where they had to clean out the leg bone. So you can also just do this because you can see how the muscles separate. So that will all have to get cleaned off that side. Let's keep going with this top part first though. Kind of like the fat cap we're working on. That's okay in there. I just want to see how this fat cap comes off a bit. Uh, any stringy fat we definitely don't need. We only want the really nice hard white fat. That's the good, good fat. Is there a thick connective bit under the fat cap? Not really. So I think I'm going to mostly leave that on then. Cool. Okay, so let's do this then. I'm gonna try and separate it into like bigger pieces first. See how like soft the lab meat is? You can literally just like tear it apart. It's so cool. Okay, well, if it comes off clean from the fat cap like this, I think I'm just going to let it. And then I'm not putting a ton of pressure on my boning knife. I'm literally just like sliding it along here. That's how easy that is to cut it away. Hi, Annie. How are you? <laughs> yeah, finally as an adult. Mary. <laughs> Mary had a little lamb. It was a gyros, she says. <laughs> Look at that nice piece. Okay, keep going. She's gonna cut this away like that. This is a nice piece of fat right here. Really, really nice piece of fat. So we're going to keep that. Throw it in the bowl. Just kind of split it in half. Super, super nice. And then we can just see this like little bit of film over everything. So let's work on taking that off first. See what we're actually working with. Mary had a little lamb with mint jelly. <laughs> you guys. Okay. 
nice. This is going pretty quick, actually. You received a defective Amazon order? What happened, Annie? Ordered boots off of Mercari this week? One was 11 and a half and the other 10 and a half? What the heck, Scott? <laughs> they totally won't notice. Just send them that. Parabex, yes. Yeah, that is correct. So a lot of the gamey flavor is in the fat. So if you have a really fatty piece of lamb, but are not like quite accustomed to the gamey flavor of it, clean off some of the fat and it'll be a bit more of an enjoyable experience for you. Okay, we're moving right along here. Let's start working on this part. There we go. It's looking good. Just patrol in circles. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, those are like driving shoes, right? This is also really nice fat, so let's just take some of the connective tissue off of the surface. That's looking really nice already. Just the, like the little bit of stuff that we've done in here. Cleaning it up. And yeah, if you have to separate a little piece of the muscle off just to be able to clean it better, you can. Do your thing. I'm gonna take this muscle off as well, I think. If I can, see where this separates. Okay, that was exactly what I wanted to find in here, was just this last little bit. That's a good piece, actually. We'll keep that on there. Now from here, come back this way. Did we use a leg of lamb to make the gyro meat? Yep, I, this is a leg of lamb right here, Mary. Just they took the bone out of it for us already. Okay, that looks so dang good. A little bit more here. And this stuff is really thick, so we definitely want to get rid of that. All right, what's this? A vein, a little bit of vein. Okay, I'm gonna flip this. So now we can like see how much we've taken out of this lamb leg. It's kind of funny looking now. So there's this little bit of film on the outer fat here. Let's, uh, let's work on peeling that away. Remember I said only the nice white hard fat not the really stringy one because it doesn't uh, 
like render out the same way. But you can still save it and use it for like a stock because there is still flavor in there. So it's not good to put into a grind for meat. Have I made gyros that way? Um, I've done gyros before, like you're saying the meat on the spit is like you can do it in the oven, just form it into a bread pan. But I don't think I did it with lamb. But yeah, any cut that is like less expensive is always going to be better to grind. You wouldn't buy lamb chops or a lamb rack and use that to grind the meat. How am I doing? Hi, Kanara. I'm doing a lot better. Doing a lot better. Thanks for asking. And yeah, Crux actually, I was going to say, Mish literally just made this before the stream because she's in Europe and she did hers with beef because it was a little bit more cost effective. So there's that. Okay, I see some like pretty thick sinew just under this side here. I'm going to take that away. How are you doing, Kanara? Yeah, I wonder about a chicken, a chicken kofta. That could be interesting. What's the best way for me to take this apart? And then AHX1962, thanks for the follow. Just gonna spread this out, start doing lengths. So like one to two inch cubes is what we want for our grind. Trying to stay as cool as possible. Oh, you, oh, that's right. Yeah, you guys are like getting the heat wave over there this weekend. Yeah, that was so cool, Kanara. Going on Food Beast. I hope that was a lot of fun. Cube that off, chunk that off. Okay. Let's uh, let's deal with all these lengths first, and then we have a little bit more cleaning up to do on some more muscles. I'm actually gonna leave that piece of the fat out. This is a pretty fatty lamb leg. And like, there is a limit to the amount of marbling you want in your min minced meat. Hi, Clam, how are you doing? Maybe actually this one too. Although there's like such good meat inside of there though still. Just trim this part. And you got to visit with your daughter. Okay, that's pretty awesome then. She came with you even to the studio? So freaking cool. <laughs> really? So Texas is just like straight up in a drought right now and everywhere else is just getting crushed with rain. Interesting. I would love to send it your way, Parabex. Okay. Definitely clean that off. So I almost do it like how we skin a fish. Like flip it over the other way. Get your boning knife under there, under the sinew. Just hold it and go like this. Back and forth. There's a little bit of meat on there, but we don't have that anymore. No more connective bits. All these little tendons as well. See this little piece here that I'll clean off and then the rest of this is good.
The entire Southwest needs rain bonk. What's this now? What is this now that we're discovering here? It's like where all these little muscles come together. Gonna cut that there. So lots of sinew right here to take away. It's like an I spy adventure. So far, it's like not a very big pile that I've cleaned off. And then like, if you were gonna just cook the lamb leg whole, you wouldn't really clean any of this though. Cause I mean, the longer you cook it, the more all this stuff breaks down. It's gonna be a good one today, Clem. Whoa, look at these little pieces. Actually, I'm used to cleaning lamb. Cleaned actually a lot of it on the island when we lived there. For the restaurant that I worked at, pretty, pretty good at it now. Cause I mean, when you work in a restaurant, time is money. So you can't like dilly dally at all really. Cause then it just sandbags the rest of the team. that little bit off because I saw that hanging out under there. Sounds yummy, Clem. Yeah, I'm excited for this one today. And like not a ton of cooking involved either for this. Just the meat skewers, I think. How did we do? Okay, got most of it, just this little bit left. And then this other muscle here, this big one, this should be really easy to clean. I think most of the connective tissue, oh, maybe not actually. I'm gonna say most of it's just on the outside, but I could be wrong. And like, you wonder why you pay a lot for your meats to be butchered in the store. This is why, because it does take time. And the butcher has to know what they're doing, otherwise they'll waste a lot of food. So if you don't want to pay for that price in the store, then you have to start to learn to do all this on your own. Any scouring recipes? What are you looking for? Am I cutting out medallions? No, Wilson, we're actually going to grind it. We are grinding this lamb today. Did a good number on that piece now. Just that little bit left on the edge. Cut through there. What herbs was Sam looking for? I think both cilantro and parsley. Have we been working on the truck build at all? No, Wilson, because we're trying to get the freezer first before it goes up massively in price like the fridge did on us. I mean, it's kind of pointless to build the truck if you can't buy the pieces of equipment that you need to put in it. So we've been playing a game of inflation, I say. Just trying to decide where to put the money first. <laughs> but it's still happening. Like, don't worry. 
it's a long-term project every time you guys ask i'll let you know where we're at in it you have parsley curly and flat mary okay drone it over drone ship it over real quick exactly that too is like we're gonna take our time we're gonna do it right the first time not just rush into it and then want to like change everything a year later because then that doesn't make sense but i think like the best part is like we already have the truck and just the prices of those trucks have gone up exponentially so like if we were to have to buy that truck now just to even start probably double what we paid for it originally so like at least we have that piece yeah we got a gem seriously it found us we didn't find it okay so i see a separation here and a little bit here i think first i'm going to clean this part on the outside instead of like chunking it up into small pieces and then trying to clean it after. <laughs> Kinara, I just read that. Red Rover, Red Rover, drone the herbs on over. Soon, hey? Drone delivery. Oh, we saw when we were doing deliveries yesterday, we were driving around. Someone converted their entire front yard. So here, I think it's like the same as America in house subdivisions is everyone just has like grass, green grass in the front. Well, this house literally ripped out their entire lawn and just dug a garden for their front yard and like a banging like massive garden that could probably feed like the whole block i was so happy i forgot to post in discord but i did take a photo so i'll post that in the gardening section right yeah we're starting to notice more and more canara and it makes me so dang happy they actually are bonk see i know you've been like kind of joking about it but i know that that is the future Amazon's testing it out. It's Jeffrey. Okay, that looks way better now. Oh, a little bit more on the side. Just noticed that. What? Some subdivisions there have HOAs and won't even allow them? <laughs> okay, that's cool, Mish. Here in a the city, they're testing drones that deliver defibrillators in case of heart attacks. Paramedic drones, basically. Like, what? That's super cool. Okay, so see how you can like tell where a muscle separates because you can see the sinew and then you can literally just like dig in there and keep going. Let me kind of just split it like this and then we'll clean it up the rest of the way once we got them good. And then we're almost ready to grind, finally. But maybe I'll pop this quickly just in the fridge because we have to mix this with some of the aromatics first before we grind it.
I just always find that it turns out better that way. Yeah, that looks super duper nice now. I wish I didn't have to waste this little bit of stuff though. Maybe I'll be able to clean it off. we got a bit more off lamb's expensive don't waste it okay and yeah these are really nice pieces very meaty a little bit more there it never ends. Is sinew not edible, Heat Ender? Well, it is. It's just not like the greatest eating experience in a minced mixture. Because then you just like distribute the rubbery, chewy pieces literally throughout it. And it's just a weird eating experience. So I would rather use this to like make a flavorful broth or something like that. So I'm just gonna pack it in a freezer bag. Oh, those are the big ones. And save it for something else. And hi, little Mama Silva. How are you? Yeah, cool me. She's supposed to work on a lot of the small islands where medical aid could be like hours away. That's so dang cool. I don't know if we have those here in Canada, the HOAs. What does that stand for again? <laughs> yeah, like that sounds so silly, Bonk. So yeah, look at that. That looks so nummy. I'm just gonna go wash up really quick. Do a little sanitize on this board and the knife so the meat doesn't get all stuck on. That was good. That didn't take us very long. And I think it's gonna be delicious. Homeowners Association or Homeowners of America. Interesting. Okay, let's let's hear it, little mama. Looking for advice or an opinion? Feel I overpriced a menu item for it being diner food. Let's try and help little mama then. Okay, gonna put that in the freezer. Get rid of my steel. Put the lamb in the fridge, and then we'll go over some aromatics to mix into here. I know we need onions. I'll grab that. Oh, and our cilantro tube, since herbs are a hot commodity here. This bowl doesn't want to fit in the fridge nice. I had to 
move a thing. Move a thing. <laughs> I love this. Gourmet garden. The stir in paste. Herb paste. Mac and cheese topped with pulled pork. Have it priced at $13.99. What is the like portion size of the mac and cheese and like the weight of the pork that you're putting on it? That doesn't seem like too overpriced though. <laughs> Mary, HOA is just a bunch of Karens, right? What colors you paint your house, yard keeping, decorations, fences, etc. Oh my goodness. We only really have that for condos, I believe. But I will say the city has like certain bylaws that you have to follow if you live within the city limits. So well, that's interesting. Like this is an example that I know of what happened here on this property is Finn tried to like plant just a bunch of flowers in the boulevard by the street there because it just looked like crap. It was basically just like dirt, not grass. And then the city wrote them and she had to pull out all of the flowers that she put in and literally put grass instead. She's like, cool, was literally just trying to help the bees, but okay. So it still exists. It's just not called HOA. Can just be one neighborhood, that's wild. Okay, so we got our half onion, our breadcrumbs. We need some garlic, so I'll go get that. And then our spices. Cumin, coriander, paprika. A little bit of cinnamon, it said. Do I have ground coriander? Or do I have to make some? I think I gotta make some ground coriander. That's okay though. I don't mind that. It always smells so good after. Actually, I'm just looking guys. I don't even know if I have any coriander like seeds. That's weird. Unless I'm missing something here. Oh, there it is. I found it, ha ha ha. There's lots. <laughs> Boom. There's lots, so we'll toast it up. We got our cinnamon. We just bought it, Samo. I just had to look. A little bit of cumin, I think that will be enough. So little mama says... Two scoops of mac and cheese, two scoops of pulled pork. I think that's fair. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Just grabbing the paprika from back here as well. Oh yeah, it's in this big, big, big thing. The largest. Also, my breadcrumbs are there. So let's do this. After we blitz up in the dry container the coriander, we'll blitz up a little bit of breadcrumbs to put in too. Hi, Farby, how are you? Okay, keep going. So cayenne pepper if you want it a bit spicy, but I am making this fin friendly. But we do use salt and pepper still. I'm just gonna fill up my little salt container. Boom, boom. Okay. So I just gotta go grab a little bit of garlic then. And that is pretty much it. And we'll work on toasting our coriander. Unless it's already super fragrant. It's not. I think we should toast it first. We got time. Medium to large scoops? That sounds pretty accurate. I mean, you literally can't get a McDonald's meal anymore for like under 10 bucks, so. 
At least diner food is like being made in house, right? Okay, let's use just the induction quickly on a frying pan. So this goes really nice and quick for us for the spices. And we'll set up our blender. Oh, ho, ho. yes, Annie. I didn't clue in when you said I'm flipping through recipes, but now I understand. For a cook with Sammy. Yeah. And he says, We're, you're going to like it. And hi, Lauren. Lamb Kofta is like the little brother of the Pokemon Coffin. Now I got to look up that Pokemon. <laughs> and he says, a nice spicy dish. Send the recipes on Discord. One is for curry. Unreal. Okay, come on in. Let's get cooking. Toasting, rather. Toast the spices. So I'm not like a super high heat. And we just kind of wait for them to start smoking. And you'll smell the coriander more as well. Take out any big stems that you see. Do a little bit more. Should I just do all of the whole container? I don't think so. Samo's making a curry. It's pretty good, Adam. So I think that'll turn out all right. Okay, just spread this out. And then we'll just kind of swish it around every few moments. So that it gets nice, even toasting. And then on this side, I'll just kind of set up the blender for the next step here for us. Always toast your spices. Yep, this is a meal redemption for Mish today. 75,000 and Annie, thanks for saving up a hundred. Giving me the day off. Kate gets to commentate and be the happy kitchen helper for an om dog. I like those days. Smelling it a bit already. And then we'll pour it into here. The Vitamix dry container. Oh yeah, I hear popping. Doesn't take long. Last time you made Sammy cook was last August. Holy. And then that was the lamb vindaloo, right? <laughs> Bonk. I am Hermione. It's Leviosa. <laughs> Hi, boss man. How are you? Uh-oh, Kate's throwing the coriander. No one's safe. We upset the induction even. Boss man, did you miss anything? What have we done? We cleaned the lamb leg. And cubed it up and put the meat grinder in the freezer. And now we're toasting some coriander. We're getting ready all the spices and flavorings to put into the kofta. And yeah, isn't it nice that Vitamix just labels their containers? You never get it messed up. Oh, the Rogan Josh, that's what it was. But yeah, it was lamb. Thanks, Annie. He says, as always, I like chipping in for the ingredients. So take $30. We'll take it, Annie. I'm excited to see these recipes. I know nothing currently. 
These are almost ready. You see how some of them are turning a darker brown? Don't burn them. Just toast them. Oh, Torino! Saving my pots and pans for a Finn and Rando cooking stream. Imagine. Well, Rando says that Finn doesn't cook. So that would be quite entertaining, I'm sure. Hi, Rick. Yeah, fragrant. That's what we want, right? I think they're actually good. We're good now. She would do the commentating. Oh, epic then. Okay, so take this. Obviously, they are warm, right? Oh, there might be a bit too much in here. Move this over a sec. Put them into the blender. Sprint! Holy smokes, how have you been? And thanks, friend. Almost out of two full years being with the kitchen crew. Thank you. Finn cooks rando holds the fire extinguisher. Lauren, don't buy anything at Target that you didn't go there for. Yeah, Target. <laughs> that's so funny you say that, Bunk, because that's exactly how we said it here in Canada when it existed. Okay, I'm just going to get rid of this really hot pan. And so because the spices are like quite warm right now, that does mean that they will steam up a bit if we blend them up. It's going to create moisture and like make it kind of sticky. So I always wait a few moments before I blitz them up just to let them cool off a bit. We don't really need like wet coriander. Doesn't have to be a thing. So while we wait, what if I go quickly grab our garlic from the other fridge and then we will also dice up the onion for ourselves, do that sort of stuff. Yeah, Target is bougie. Ah, oh, nice sprint is going well. You moved to Chicago. Congrats. And then had a long work project in Europe. Sweet, we're in Europe. So it's been like a wild six plus months. That's insane, but it sounds like a really fun wild six months. Good one. I've always wanted to visit Chicago. It looks really cool there. <laughs> Mary, I worked at Target. Corporate did not like us saying it in that way. You went to Portugal? Mmm. I've heard so many good things about Portugal. Like, especially food and drink-wise, but never been there myself. Yeah, the pizza's great. Okay, I'll be back. Just grabbing very important garlic. Hi, I'm here. Also brought some cucumbers back with me for our salad later. <laughs> you got boned. Oh no, Mary. Even though all my paychecks just went straight back to the company. Funny how that works, isn't it? Really interesting. What do we need? Like, Let's do five garlic cloves. Garlic heavy. 
And then this should actually be, yeah, nicely cooled off now. So I'll set up the blender. Then we'll do this and then the breadcrumbs. Titan, how are you? It's a cake cooking face. <laughs> yeah, cucumbers? I thought I was missing a couple. If only. Has anyone bought the property yet or they're still waiting for us? The Cook with Kate Commune. No! Almost lost my plug in. Behind the counter. Yeah, five, make it ten. <laughs> there is like a limit though. You will only know this with experience the limit of garlic. It doesn't happen often. Turn back this way. I think you can kind of see the spices in there. Ish. It's still on the market? Frick, we gotta buy it up. Okay, turning this on, it may be a bit noisy at first. When your pores start to smell like garlic, yeah, you've gone too far. Or is that just right? It's going! The roasted garlic smell. Just gonna give it a tap, tap, tap -a -roo. Okay, again. Smells so good. Gotta get those husks broken down. The outer bits of the seed. And then while this is going, I'll grab a little container to put it into. Where did I put my clean washed jars? I thought we had a couple, didn't we? Hmm. Guess it's this one then. Turn it down again you what we're working with. Mosquitoes go after potassium. So yeah, you can see like it kind of co-mingles around the corners when it blends. Just got to shake it up a bit. And we'll go a little bit more. It smells so good though. Crank it. It's actually working so good. Mosquitoes, yeah, mosquitoes hate me, guys. They'll literally fly past me, land on Sam. <laughs> it's the worst. Look at this. We made our own fresh ground coriander. Success. Let's pack it on up into this little jar here. And we can finally start mixing some stuff into our lamb. Hey, the blender worked, Samo says. <laughs> yep, 
Yeah, nothing wrong with this container yet. Woohoo! Okay, so now we can use that for breadcrumbs. And now we got a really good, fresh ground amount of the coriander. Let's take some of this. How much breadcrumbs do we need? Literally just like bread ends that you let dry out and then you pack them up. Oh, Titan, seen two deer in your garden the other morning. Might have to start the hunting season a bit early. Yeah, rabbit stew. I think we're gonna be making that coming up, Annie, for our hunting sponsored stream. Do the deer like the watermelons? Okay, so they say one quarter cup of breadcrumbs will probably need closer to half a cup because I think we're making more than what she made. Boom. Boom. Oh, it's like those bits. Put the lid back on. And then this one usually is pretty loud at first. So if you have headphones, just be aware. Winter is always coming, Bonk. You know what this sounds like? The little like drum in the background of some songs. The bongo. The deer will smash the melons with their feet to open them. Okay, I love that. Sounds like you got some nutmeg. Yeah, you feed them now, feed you later. Just like Sam's dad, he literally goes out and like sprinkles seeds on this massive property that they're allowed to hunt on, like sprinkles all this lovely stuff all season for the deer. And then they get really happy and then they go hunting later. Okay, done with this. Corn fed deer. Yeah, I don't know if they do corn. Maybe. I know like apples and stuff in the fall. They love that. Where am I going with this? Where are you going, Kate? Okay, so there's that. Awesome. The breadcrumbs. Do we want to mix them in with the mince? I guess. Might as well. Nothing bad will really happen. So that first before we get into it. We will just dice up our onion, slice up our garlic just to distribute a bit farther. Away we go. <laughs> Samo, corn fed deer is the best. He can confirm. Yeah, rosebuds. My mom would always get so mad at the deer on the island because they would always eat her flowers. They'll like walk right up on your porch even. They don't give a heck. Yeah, <laughs> famous last words for sure, right? Nothing bad will happen. Yeah, I do miss sometimes the nature on Vancouver Island that we got to hang out with some days. Yeah, that looks like a pretty good ratio of onion. I know when it gets cooked in with the mixture of everything, it tastes good. The onion goes more sweet when it's cooked. And also it's a white onion, so it is more mild than a yellow. I am so excited, Mish. Like, this is going to be so good. So we're just going to slice the garlic. And then the meat grinder will do the rest of the work for us. Obviously, if you're not grinding your own meat, use a garlic press or mince it up first to mix it in. Have to admit it and you may sound like you're a bad person, Titan. Oh, don't even say it. 
you've never hunted on your own property, you enjoy watching the wildlife, you see deer, turkey, all kinds of birds daily. When you hunt, you hunt on a rented one several miles away. And then every once in a while, you'll see a bear. I don't think you sound like a bad person at all. I think that's exactly how it's supposed to go. You make that choice, right? Hi, Chase. How are you? Your mom just bought $33 worth of red petunias and the rabbits ate every one of them. So that's why you're making a rabbit stew, Annie. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, just gonna wipe off my knife and the board before it gets garlicked. Garlicked forever. Hope I'm feeling better. I really am. Today has been like the first day where I woke up with like really no pain in my back. So yeah, been taking care of ourselves. I still took like the painkiller just cause I know throughout the day it does start to creep up a little bit more. And then by like, usually it's been by 11 p.m. My back's just like, I'm done. We're done here. We need some lucky rabbits feed. Or feet, sorry. I think they live in your corner pile of yard waste. And they're digging holes even. We have a lot here too, we have noticed. Okay, so this, literally just pop it in here. We'll measure out our spices as well. Meat grinder's been chilling in the freezer the whole time. That. Our cilantro. This is our version of cilantro right now. Good thing we didn't plant any Mexican food this week. Cause fresh herbs are on the fritz. I guess I'll just become a herb grower then. Yeah, there's one spot in the west end of the city by like a bunch of hotels. Probably over a hundred groundhogs just like living in the grass around. Never seen that many in my life. They're so funny. Okay, so I think that's good. What does she say? Like a couple tablespoons, two tablespoons of chopped fresh. So we'll go like that just to make up for this maybe not tasting as fresh. That, our breadcrumb. So she said a quarter cup. I just doubled it up because I have more than one pound of lamb here. We have double. You, yeah, the tubes of lemongrass like that are really good, Annie. It's true. It's a pretty good quality. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Sam's gone to like a bunch of different stores. And our fresh herb scene is not doing good again. Got our garlic in there. Okay, so just gonna grab a little spoon. Start spooning our herbs into there and then we'll mix it up. First one. Cumin seed, a couple teaspoons worth. So in that case, we'll just do like a tablespoon. And then all of these herbs and spices that we use, like this is all good for us too. Really, really good for us. Our coriander that we just did, same amount. So we'll just do a tablespoon again. Mm -hmm. Smells so good. Same with paprika. <laughs> Small container. <laughs> yeah, the ground squirrels, like, you just go for it, hey? That would be smart, Annie. Park the truck by a market. Get all the good deals at the end of the day. People are really serious about markets here. At least I'm pretty sure they still are. 
And like in that case, there's not always a ton of stuff to choose from. Like a lot of places will sell out. Just this small amount of cinnamon, guys. Like half the amount of the other spices we used. And then we'll do some salt and pepper. What a mixture. Like, this can't be bad. Oh, nice little mama. I've had that before and I've done it as well. The grilled watermelon steaks. It's yummy. Yeah, in the... Is it actually called Lehigh Valley? Or Lehigh? There's a lot of agriculture. I mean, here too, Annie. Like, there's a lot of farms just within the city limits that you can just go to and shop that way as well, which we should totally do. Like, we really need to start getting back into that so that we can inspire others to do the same. Lehigh Valley. Yeah, spend hours walking around the farmer's market. And then it's always fun to, like, talk to the vendors, too. They're super personable. We'll do two sprinkles of salt like this. That should be a pretty good amount. We can always add a little before we grill it. And so that's it. I'm just going to... Maybe just mix this up with a pair of tongs even. And then we'll set up the meat grinder. Yeah, most of the vendors have a good sense of humor. It's true. And yeah, I think they make it hard though, Titan. Like big food industry wants it to be difficult to buy direct from the farmers because then they don't make a cut. Okay, so when we are feeding this through the grinder, we're just gonna be sure we like feed a little bit of everything through at one time. This looks to be well mixed though. And everything's kind of just sticking to the lamb, which is what I wanted it to do. Cool. It's gonna be really good, guys. Uh... Let's put away all the spices and stuff after, because it's the best if we grind this while the lamb is still nice and cold. So I'll grab my incarcerum. The beast. The beast, that is a mixer. Yeah, on the island, so many little roadside stands. Yeah, that was like a super welcomed thing there. And I still have this dream of going to do that with our friends, Zach and Paul, his dad. So they have a property that can be worked in that way. Wonder if smoked watermelon would work. Hmm. I've never had smoked watermelon. Could be nice. We really don't know unless we try. This stuff is so cold. A farm stand five houses up? Whoa. Like that tall? Yeah, maybe just like lightly smoked or pairing it with something smoky instead of making the watermelon smoky. So twist that. This goes in this way. Yeah, the grilled watermelon that looks like a ham. I have. Put the blade on. The die. Twist that up. Oh, five houses up the street. Okay. 
yeah, that's super handy. Okay, that's on. Now this goes this way. And then we put the feed tray and the plunger on. And we just need a bowl underneath to catch everything. That's gonna rattle, I think. Are these all the same height? Might just grab a piece from the dishwasher really quick. This is the one. I know, and now I wanna see a five-story high farm stand. I was like, that's super cool. <laughs> Just gonna put a glove on to feed this through. Hey, nice, Mary. A fellow Twitch user sent you Cupy Mayo. You finally get to try it. Nice one. Okay. Turn this on first just to make sure you set it up right. There's no weird noises. Then mine runs on half speed. Is the happiest. Away we go. Whoa. Start piling it in. Whoa. I'm making a mess already. The smell of this mixture though is insane. That looks so good. You can like see everything inside of the mixture. Just getting rid of these tongs for a sec. Oh, put some on my fingers and taste it. Like the raw stuff? This actually feels really good today, Annie. Me just like doing a bit more movement. Cause yeah, the prior days I could not do all this. Just like a achy sort of feel. I think this is gonna be really good bonk. Well, we can taste it, like fry up a little bit of it before we form it into the koftas. Oh, it was directed to Mary Kay. <laughs> Word. And hi, Celtic. Wish you luck. Croc for starter, still not there. Oh no. That's right, because you're doing baguettes today. Found a baguette recipe that uses only a small start of the night before. Yeah, that sounds accurate. You have to fold it like a dozen times. That sounds like it's gonna be good. It's finally resting. Holy smokes. Well, I think you'll be a-okay. By the sounds of it, you got it under control there. The smell of this is insane.
Like two more handfuls to feed through and then we're good. It's nice and bubbly. Good. That means it's gonna turn out really good. It's a happy dough. Okay, last bit going in. Scrape out all of this stuff from the bowl. Yeah, drop a pick of the bread for sure. Pro question, why do you put boiling water in a pan in a stove? Well, you need the moisture to create the proper baguette crust. Yeah, tighten meat worms. Annie, do you have a 3D printer at home? Or you get to go use the one at school? Just turning this up a bit more to get all of this goodness out. Come on out. still coming just super slow let it go just a bit more oh you get to bring the printer home for the summer what that's the coolest boom we did it chat tasty tasty meat worms for me hi karses how are ya Take that away. We're going to take this whole piece off of the mixer. How's things? Good. Doing good, Karses. Finally feeling like a healthy human being again. Better than mealy worms. It's true. And then what do we got in here? Nice. It's not like too bunged up in there. <laughs> a couple onion bits and stuff. I don't think you can really see it in there, but that's kind of to be expected. We're not just putting meat through and then let's see how the blade did. Usually it's like our backup little piece in there to catch anything. Anything sinewy and stringy, which look it. It did. Yeah, that worked so good. Yeah, there's always that little pile of stuff left over, which I honestly don't really care about. Okay, I will clean out this little bit of stuff. That's all usable. And then really good idea just to go soak all of this in the sink in lukewarm water. Otherwise it could be a little bit of a pain later to wash off the meat if it gets all stuck on. We're just gonna go get that soaking. And then maybe like we said, we'll taste a little bit of this mix before we form it. It caught quite a bit, hey? Oh yeah, the egg wash advice. You got it, Celtic, no worries. And yeah, you can put a slice of bread through at the end or I've seen people even do like parchment through but I'm okay. 
Hey, Balloon Saidan, how are ya? And Blondie, welcome, my dude. Welcome, friends. Good to see you, everyone. Boom. Not down there. That. Perfect. I'll wash my hands. That was the absolute hardest part of stream today, by the way, was just dealing with all the meats. So now it's just going to get easier and easier. <laughs> yeah, my apron. I would be okay if this was also overalls, maybe a bit warm for summertime. But yeah, I've always been down with overalls and actually I just got the notification yesterday in my email that my next custom apron that they made for me as an ambassador for search and rescue denim has shipped. I'm excited. There's some special things that were designed literally just for me. Like I'm going to have a little zipper pouch that hooks onto the back to hold my lavalier little mic pack instead of it being on my side. Just little things like that. A little a couple pieces of hooks on the back side of the apron to hold the wire up from my mic. Just certain things like that. And maybe if I love it, they'll like design it for some other internet creators, right? Actually, we I have two aprons coming because then they also just released a gold label collection on their site. And then Will asked us to pick one of each of those two. So yeah, they are just like booming. And I'm so proud of him. Do the rest of the stream niche with closed eyes. Oh yeah, because I said it was going to be easy. Okay, just gonna wipe the board as well. Nice. Yeah, that's a heavy bowl of stuff. I wanna just use the same frying pan that we toasted the spices in. We can. Yeah, Ninja Man. I love that they make those attachments for like certain mixers, right? Ground meat tastes so much better when you do it yourself. I don't know the last time that we bought pre-ground meats. So that's also saying something. haven't really gone back since we started doing it this way. Okay, this guy. So we'll turn this on. And then we shouldn't really need any fat in here. We're just going to take a little bit of this mixture of our lamb kofta and see how it tastes before we form it. If it needs a little bit of salt, we should definitely add that now. So it can cook with that seasoning rather than later. Have I watched the Cooking Without Looking streamer? I have, yeah. Like way back when she first started on Twitch. Cook one seasoned meatworm. I'm gonna like go in over here. Okay. 
do a little mixture like this. A, a little Kate snack. I didn't want to touch it with my other hand, but fine, I will. Ooh, look at how nice that's gonna form together. I can already tell. Just like making a little patty, basically. Mmm, the smell of the lamb mish. Astra's gonna go insane. I think she's out right now with Randall. They're gallivanting. I'm all alone, chat. Not even a Sammy here beside me. Chef's privilege, that's true, actually. Freedom! <laughs> yeah, you need to level up to cooking level two to make meatballs. Just <laughs> grabbing a little spatula. Because we gotta flip it. The smell will get you every time. Yeah, the boyfriend was excited. You didn't even tell him what you were doing. Perfect. He didn't complain. Look at how this sears up, by the way, too. Very nice. Hello. It's meat. So he loves all meats, then. Does he love all meats? No. I feel like there's a meat that he doesn't love. Dunzo. The juices. I'm just gonna let that cool off for a moment. Before we try it. Kinda smoking. Smoky, smoky. You think he might be made of part meat? <laughs> We'll make a minced meat. Actually, what if I do this? Because this is just going to keep smoking if we leave it here. Take it and go. <laughs> the smallest amount of stovetop cooking. <laughs> if you mince him, Mish is swearing. Do, do, do. Yum. A lamb patty. Mmm. Huh. That is so delicious. I think it could use a bit more salt. I don't want to mix up the meat too much, though. Because the texture of this is so nice right now. So maybe we'll form all the meatballs and then just do a nice sprinkle of salt on the outside. Yeah, Celtic. So, like, basically every piece of cast iron that we own, we have bought it on sale. So we just wait. The spice flavor in there is insane. Mmm. The way they all combine together. It's so fresh tasting. I'm like, you don't taste the onion. That is going to be insanely good. Okay, I'm just gonna put a couple things away. Just all of our spices that we use to infuse this. And then we will form this. Form this tasty goodness. And then from here, we have a few sauces to make. A tomato cucumber salad as well. And then when Samo pops back home, we will make our hummus.
yeah a lot of times people will post in discord if they notice a sale it's true but usually it only applies to the american folk that is also true You will just form these onto a sheet pan, I think. And then we'll skewer them after. And I'm just gonna read through really quickly to see if there's any other tips that we need. Down it up forever. Okay, so with damp hands, she says, so this is one pro tip because this is pretty sticky. If you just have like wet hands, the meat won't stick onto them as bad. Divide it into equal pieces. She says she did it into eight. So let's try and do like 16, I suppose. Shape it onto the skewers after and make them smooth. And then she actually just cooks them in a skillet. Interesting. Oh, actually, she gives us stove cooking, barbecue, broiler, or oven. Smart. <laughs> Spread my cheeks. I am from the prairies. How did you know? Welcome in. Okay, I'll go grab the skewers. Let's do, what do I want? Just a little bowl of water on the side cold to dunk my hands and then away we go. From Saskatchewan, amazing. It's only one province over. I love Annie's little fun facts in chat. I know it's always the accent that gives it away. I'm a prairies person. I wonder this though, cause I did live on the West Coast for like quite a few years. I wonder if it went away, chat. Did I sound different when I didn't live here compared to now? I love the New York accent though. You think that's the worst one? I guess if you've never been to New York though, maybe uh, you feel a little bit different. So these are the skewers we're using on our grill today. And I guess I'm actually gonna put gloves. Maybe the glove barrier will also help us put the gloves back on. And that will also not stick. And then where are we on our list? Yeah, form onto the skewer. And I just put cook later. And we just have yogurt sauce, hummus, tomato, cucumber, salad. Sweet. Ontario's calling right now. I can tell you for a fact that that's a spam caller. They call me every day. Not speaking English. So I have no idea what they're saying. The top emote is the lull. I've always wanted to be a meme streamer. <laughs> yeah, Mish. You've got to change that up, guys. How do I want to do this? Maybe put this here, our lamb over there. Yeah, let's do it like this. Yeah, the onion, the original. So dunk our hands there. We're just gonna scoop. I think the pieces should kind of be like this size. Let's divide it all first. I'm also just watching as I I'm commingling this mixture that it looks very nice and even throughout. 
with like the spices and stuff like that. If you notice it getting sticky, just do a little dunk, a dunk and a little rub around. They're literally so annoying, Clem. Although we should just do like Kit Boga does. Just spam the spam collars. Hello, this is Pizza Hut. How may I take your order? That's what I'm going to start doing to them. <laughs> I don't know if these are too large, but we're going with this size. Seems like my little meatballs have gotten larger, though, since the first one. <laughs> yeah, 600 seconds. Mish will never forget that. Will any of us, though? It's your love to mess with them. Yeah, you love the spam callers if it's a real person. Exactly. I love how it went from like originally, hey, you just want a cruise. To being like, hey, you are wanted for a rest right now. <laughs> they really uh, flipped the agenda there on us. Yeah, Annie just redeemed for a cook with Sammy. I need a bit more meat actually in here. Really bonk? Like just what the heck? They get so angry quickly. Funny how they don't like it when it happens to them. Interesting. That one's a little bit small, so I guess we'll just take away from some of the bigger pieces instead. How much for a Kate skydive stream? I don't know, you should ask Samo. He's the financial person. I'll do it though. I'll hack and go. Okay, I think that all looks even. We can get rid of this now, but maybe hold on to the little water bowl just so it doesn't get too sticky. So now. Yeah, how many pots and pans? I don't know. Really, Annie? You actually went on a groove skydive? That's super cool. Okay, so now she says to like form this. This is how koftas are formed, by the way, guys. Into like little cylinders, basically. And then we want it to be able to not fall apart. And obviously the thicker you make them, the longer it'll take to cook. Something like that. A meat tube. That is going to be insane. A little bit more water. It's $500 now for one person to go skydiving. Sam won't go with me, by the way. Mish, don't the FBI agents have to retire at some point? That's wishful thinking. I'm not going to be too crazy on the shape of these yet because we still have to put them on the skewer and it might change the shape a bit while we try and do that. 
Mm. Just that mix that we tried though. Insane. That was kind of the point. Yes, I won't do that stuff. Meaty bits. This is going pretty quick, at least. What is it? It's only 2 p.m. now. Hello, Miss Mittens. Franz Kafka was an excellent writer, Annie says. And thank you for that follow as well, Miss Mittens. Welcome in. Let us know if you have any questions about what goes on here. He told you that you were wasting his time, Clem? That's the greatest. Hi, Open Oat. Ugh, I have a lamb hands right now, so I can't like have a drink very quickly and I'm not gonna waste my rubber gloves. Remind me after I'm done the meat forming to have a sip of water. How are you doing this weekend though? That water dip trick works really good. That's so funny. You're wasting my time. What do you think you're doing to my time? The meat slap sound when I put it back on the sheet pan. Are you having a good weekend, Miss Mittens? We are having a very meaty stream currently. Oh no, open out. Went out and checked out a house yesterday. We've got no chance. There's so many people out here. Yeah, what did we hear? Someone posted, was it in Discord this week? That where they are? Look at the lamb fat, by the way. A house sold for like 100k over asking. It's actually insane. Yeah, we've definitely come to terms already that it's just like not going to be a viable option for us to like buy a house like that. That's funny as well, Titan. Keep getting calls about lowering the cost of my health insurance. It's always a female, so you always ask them on a date and they can tell you the details over dinner. <laughs> that probably makes them super uncomfortable. That's also hilarious. Eventually things should improve. The use of the word should is just too apparent in our vocabulary these days. There's a lot of things that should be happening, but it's not. But I like that you have hope, Annie. <laughs> Cause maybe some of us don't. Thanks for being a positive light in our community. It's true, but they're saying like right now is basically how it was during the depression. Insane. Yeah, that's what I was wondering is like, is there going to be a recession? It's sad that people have to like wait for that. These are forming really nice. So it's important to like get the proper mixture so that these don't just like fall apart on the grill too, right? Nice, that's good, Mary. And yeah, that's good for you too, Weasel, that your, your property's gone up in value. Yeah, 
Yeah, we'll win the lottery and buy a tent. If you come here, Titan, you can basically set up your tent wherever. Like, people just camp around the city wherever they want now. So Sam and I always joke that we're just gonna go do the same. It's free. Free camping. Don't even gotta reserve the spot. It is so true, Annie. Yeah, like your experience had to sell and buy at the worst time. But yeah, living in your house for 12 years and you only made 20,000 on a return. What does that say? Okay, last meatball. It's okay, I still understand what you're saying, Weasel. Yeah, camp close enough, come, come by and grab some food. We'll be the camp cookers. This is the way? Okay, we'll just get a property then that we can all go camp together on. I'm in. Okay, so from here, I think I'm gonna take one glove off. Just so I can hold the skewer end and not make it too messy. Take the water away. And I'm planning on putting two of these pieces on each skewer. It should fit. Make sure you go straight through the middle. Nice. And then you can kind of test it to see if it's going to fall off at all. It's not. That looks so dang good. I just got a little text. I just want to see if it's from Sam or what. Just the voicemail. Yeah, that's an insane return dust. Like, well done. Gather round, Clem. Sing our song. And then we just want to make sure that all of the meat pieces are like an even thickness. I don't think we'll be able to cook them like up and down like how we usually do skewers. So it really wants to slide off just from the gravity. Move these over and start piling these babies over there. Cool. Gravity's fake. It's all a lie. Mish, did you cook your kofta in the pan or the oven? What did you do? Or did you grill it? In the pan? Nice. And then did you skewer it to cook it in the pan? Or you just cooked it in like the little meatball shapes? Is that why there's a leg, Annie asks? Please. Just form them. Easy peasy then, hey? I like it. Let's 
This was actually a really enjoyable process so far. And now that I've like tasted the mixture, it's gonna be really good. It's like quite a big portion. I mean, it will shrink up a little bit when it cooks. Just because some of the fat will cook out. But yeah, no skimp in here on the meat. Holy. Like, this was one lamb leg. And then one skewer should be more than enough for one person. You like the little holders? Yeah, these were the Amazon skewers that who? I think it was... Daff. Can one do a thing? He's the one that got us onto these off of Amazon. And they work great. Better than like wooden ones that just burn up, right? It's nice to be able to reuse these and they clean up no problem. Pop them in the dishwasher. Good to go. <laughs> the best. The fact that Twitch made him change it though. Just like really... After all that time. Clam's going to grab a snack. Mm, that sounds good. Last skewer. And then because of the, like the rest of this stuff that we're doing is not going to take long. And this mixture is really cold. I'm just going to leave it out so it can warm up cook nice and evenly on the grill rather than being cold cold from the fridge nice work push that one down a bit those ones look good okay there we go and yeah they haven't banned anus opteryx yet <laughs> i'm dead Has Daff even been around in a while? Well, I know that he went to Costa Rica. I wonder what happened. He was gonna go like visit his sister or something there. Okay, let's just put this over here for now. It looks so good. Get these dirty, get the dirty bits out of the way. Pour out the meat water. One wipe up real quick. <laughs> Touching the red line. It's always so funny like watching because like every channel has their like favorite trolls, right? Watching when like the gaming streamers go to the bathroom and then the people try and do like the emote pyramids I'm like they know they're gonna get banned, but they still do it anyways. Just just for us, right? Okay, yogurt sauce Time for you to come home. That'd be perfect. Yeah, we can make the hummus And then do our yogurt sauce tomato cucumber salad and then we're cooking look at us go yeah, just friendly banter. Exactly. As long as we all know this. Ah, can't get enough water today. Okay, so if Samo's coming home, we'll set up the food processor then. We will read our hummus recipe. That one is linked as well. From the same author, actually, as the lamb kofta. She says, 
Everyone should know how to make a great hummus. I usually make this with canned chickpeas, but see the notes if you want to use dried. It's quick to make and completely incomparable to store-bought. Annie spies with his one good eye. <laughs> oh, cool. They, they even do like metric measurements. That's actually really awesome. Okay. One can, 14 ounces of chickpeas. Well, this is double from this one can. So I guess we'll double the recipe. High source of fiber, source of iron, and there's some protein in here too. Metric forever. We need a bit of the liquid from the chickpeas, about half a cup worth, so make sure we save that. That's like a key component, just so that your hummus doesn't get too thick. Hummus is such a good snack and like in the summer dipping with veggies and like little crackers and stuff bog just perfect Garlic I will grab a lemon from the fridge Tahini which is what Sam had to go grab for us this morning Couldn't find it at the like big superstore for whatever reason You got this Celtic baguettes you did the pre-ferment overnight, like those are going to turn out so good. Probably better than anything you've had from the store. Yeah, just inhale the spoonfuls of hummus into your face hole. And yes, garlic hummus is so delish. And then just a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. There's a lot of different versions of hummus. I've even seen a beet one. It's like really purple. Really, really nice. Breadbook recommends keeping the baguette dough colder to get a nice dense crumb. Hi, Earth Town. And hello, Fox Red Buddy. And a meringue? And bear claw, hello. Hey, can anyone describe the taste of hummus? You've never had it. You have a pretty boring palate. Uh, it's a very like smooth paste, I guess, is the best way to describe it. A little bit like nutty, maybe. A little bit nutty from the chickpeas. And then it really just kind of takes on whatever flavoring you put into it. So ours is going to be garlicky. And then I always love to put a bit of lemon juice in as well. So you'll taste that. Creamy with different flavors. Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, Fox Red. So what, for vegans, you can use the juice of the chickpeas to like make meringues and stuff. I've never tried it before though. And yeah, baba ganoush. So numb. Get the robot, chat. Get this big robot. Yeah, plain version, little tangy, little sesame nutty. Oh yeah, that's also where the nuttiness comes from is the sesame seed paste. Yeah, we've had garlic lemon. People do like a roasted red pepper one, which is a bit more sweet, but it is this really nice orange color. Like I said, beet hummus. What else? There's all sorts. Yeah, like almost like a whipped, very light peanut butter consistency. It shouldn't be too thick and heavy and dense hummus. If it's like that, then I don't think you made it proper. Yeah, robots forever. So this is what we're gonna use. Open up this while we wait. Like I said, I still gotta grab some lemon from the fridge. I might have one here, but I also might have to go to the big fridge. 
You're very welcome, Bear Claw. That's what we're here for. And typically, if I'm not a able to answer a question, someone in my community will know. And then if no one knows, the Googler is there for our services. So we need half a cup of this liquid. Let's just grab a measuring cup. And then we'll go drain the rest. <laughs> yeah, sounds like an island, but it's different. Hopefully this pour is okay. Actually, maybe I should go pour this over the sink because why is my mind telling me it's gonna go everywhere? My brain's saying that will happen. It probably will. Yeah, it almost did. Good one, Kate. And then I believe last time we made hummus on stream, I did make it with the dried chickpeas. So we put them in the pressure cooker for a little bit. 15 minutes. Hummus is ideal with fresh warm pita bread or pita chips. Yeah, either or, whether it's soft or crunchy. Crackers, veggie sticks, literally anything. Nom. Chickpea juices. I know we're gonna need that one. Better than just adding water, right? At least you get still the chickpea flavor. Garlics. And yeah, hummus is considered healthy. There's like the healthier fats in it, right? They're not so bad for you. I will say hummus is also one of the items I've made before that let me know that there is a limit for fresh garlic. Don't make the mistake that I did is you put in so much at first and you don't really taste it right away. Well, wait a day with the hummus just chilling in the fridge and it gets like five times as powerful. So yeah, just, just be aware that the garlic flavor gets stronger over time. Hi, dearly. How are you? Thank you for those. And yeah, it is better if it sits and melds, right? Pitas. Nice. And then this. Oh, he got us the expensive tahini. There wasn't the same brand as the chickpeas, hey? Because that's what we got last time. Yeah, I know what you mean. So must have just had some issues in the factory, I guess. I just can't With find sesame it seeds. It's okay. We got the expensive one. Any doggo? I don't know. She's out with Rando right now. I don't know where they went even. Okay, they are back now. They went somewhere. This is a lot of garlic. Well, we're still adding more stuff into here. So it is going to meld out as well. I don't know if we can shake this up a bit. If I know tahini, I know that sometimes the oil separates. And yeah, hi Panda's Disco. That's an onion, girl. Don't don't eat that. And you're so strong, you twist off the lid without even taking the plastic off. Sesame seed paste. Dust. It's not a lot of garlic. 
I didn't think it was. Like, the clothes aren't massive. Oh, the, the jar of garlic. Yeah. It is a big jar of garlic. We've been buying that. Because buying the fresh heads from the store, they keep going moldy in like a week. So we said, heck it. So this is just sesame seeds that are blended up with, I believe, their natural oils. Let's see the ingredients. Mechanically hulled dry roasted sesame seeds. You don't like the sesame seeds on hamburger buns, Mary? That's interesting. I don't mind them at all. Almost to the point where I don't even notice they're there anymore. You got a scratch, girl. She's like, get this collar off, guys. It is really thick. That's why I'm stirring it like this. Otherwise, it stays like chunky and oily and you don't get the best mixture of everything. Yeah, she missed the meat, I know. Unfortunate. She can't try it now because it's mixed with garlic and onion. You would just eat the toasted sesame seeds by the spoonful? Yeah, I was gonna just say that. Do you guys remember sesame snaps? They used to be good, because I think they used to still be made with honey. Now I think they're made with corn syrup. We're almost there, guys. Important part of jarred pastes. You like the poppy seeds, Mary? Better than sesame? <laughs> Whatever, whoever said that it was a kitchen blessing being alone? Yep. You asked for it. I heard it. I know. Oh, well, it's just because adding the dog in. Hey, you said you wanted it. We're not alone anymore. We got all of the helpers here for us. And actually, it's good because, yeah, I could use a little bit of help. Do you feel my shoulder just a bit? But that's okay. Need to work it in order to make it stronger again. Yep. Ready? I'm just gonna pour from the jar. So what does Nagi say for the recipe? She says we need one cup of tahini. Oh, is it Bourdain's birthday today, Blondie? Happy birthday, Tony. Still wish I could have met you in person before you left this earth, but hey, we'll just remember ya. We'll keep you in our thoughts. Blondie, we watched a, a kitchen movie this week that was super triggering, so I have to ask if you've heard of it or seen it. It's called Boiling Point. Just going to scrape this off. Um, they were gonna give me a like prescription cream, like for muscle relaxer. It was insanely expensive, Mary. So they just gave me like the pill form of it instead. So we don't have benefits anymore. And it is working. The one other pill is really interesting. I looked it up because I just do this sometimes because I don't take a lot of prescription drugs ever. Yeah, the one pill, what it is, is basically it's stopping my brain from sending pain signals throughout my body. 
and like helping to relieve the muscle spasms. Really, really interesting. Yeah, the CBD cream. I'm sure that would work. But yeah, it's so much better than what it was, guys. Basically just like weaning myself off now. It's been a speedy recovery. So it was supposed to be worse than what it's, how I've recovered. So Kate Strunk, we got this. Wait, you watched Boiling Point before you went to restaurant Gordon Ramsay? Crazy. That was a really juicy lemon, so I think I'm just gonna leave it at half. And then we'll add a little bit of salt and pepper. You take a lot of painkillers? Yeah, I typically take zero prescription drugs at all. And then we just need some olive oil to bring it together. But we'll drizzle this in, I think, as it blitzes up. So that's everything. Well, yeah, some of you have been through like some pretty heavy trauma in your body. So that's something that you need to not be in pain. Yeah, those bodybuilding days, that's right. Got those happy muscles. Just wait until I get older. I know, Annie. I know. Okay, turning this on. We're gonna drizzle in. See what this makes. It doesn't look too thick. It actually looks really, really good. And now we just let it go until it's really nice and smooth. That's the hard part of hummus. That's about as hard as it gets. Okay, that's so cool, Blondie. Wait, was it filmed there? Let's check it out. Ooh, rosemary hummus. I never thought of that. Mmm, it smells really good. I'm gonna grab a spatula. I actually didn't know that part of it. It was filmed in the restaurant. Holy. What is Samo drinking? I don't know. His first coffee, I think, of the day? Yeah. It is. What did you make? Clem wants to know. What is it? Scurro. They're like all Italian words. The little Nespresso's. Scurro. <laughs> Astra, you had to give me a little kiss? It's so cute. Put my arm down. It gets licked. Lim. Yeah, melemmed. Okay, on again. Just did a little scrape and then we'll taste it. Just want it a bit more smooth. Chiaro scuro. What does that mean? And he's making me say bad words on Twitch. Yeah, for the Nespresso bonk. That's our easy coffee making during the week. It's a camera term. I didn't know that the movie was called like Gordon Ramsay Boiling Point. I missed something. Hmm. 
Okay, it's getting there. Let's do the other half of lemon juice. I'm not tasting the garlic like massively right now, but I already told you what's going to happen with that. So I'm not going to add any more. And then I think we just need a bit more salt in here. Balancing out the salt and the acid. It's just a little bit fatty right now. So you can't taste as much of the other stuff. It's actually like shocking. The, the quality of coffee that comes out of that little machine. And then Mary was asking what was triggering in the movie. Uh, mostly for like people who have worked in restaurants before, I would say is like, there's just some things that happen that like most people I don't even think will notice. But yeah, if you've ever worked in a restaurant, you will notice these little things that are filmed. It's kind of like a behind the scenes sort of setting how it's filmed, which I really, really enjoy how it's depicted. And then it like inspired me for something too. Was that in the movie, Blondie? So yeah, I said to Sam, it's like, okay, imagine this part, like me going into a restaurant filming behind the scenes and like just not really commentating much on it, just like showing the world how restaurants work. Mm. That's perfect, guys. It's like a little bit acidic at first and then it goes way more fatty on the palate, a little hint of garlic. And the seasoning's good. When it's like, yeah, this is yummy, you know you did the right amount of salt and stuff. So yeah, I was like, okay, imagine if I like live streamed some restaurants and then Sam was like right off the bat, he's like, no one will ever go for that. Even if you know the people that work at the restaurant because there's always at least one shady thing happening in a restaurant behind the scenes. I've, I've never worked in a spot where this hasn't been the case, whether it's front of house, back of house, management, whatever. So yeah, I don't ever think that will be able to be a thing, sadly. But I think it would be very cool for uh, people to see that because I don't think most people understand how restaurants work. You've seen servers drink beers and shots? Oh yeah, that happens all the time. That's like nothing. That's nothing, Weasel. You should hear some of Sam's stories. <laughs> yeah, that too, Bear Claw. Well, that's what I mean. Like there's always at least one shady thing happening. Never mind, like maybe multiple. <laughs> right. Wonder if the patrons at the French restaurants I worked at knew that the dishwashers were making all the salad dressings. I've literally seen people plate in a dish pit. It's like if regular humans saw what most kitchens looked like, they would never eat there again. Never. <laughs> One day a server at Outback sat down to take your order, Mary? You never met him before? That's a bit weird. Or how about when this server is like... Is this weird, guys, when they like kneel down beside the table so you have to like look down at them to order? That's so weird. 
Yeah, that's so that's like the lighter side of it. So boiling point is quite dark. I will say this, guys, just the way it's filmed, the setting, the lighting, everything like that. And the gist of the movie's dark. If you want a happy turnaround from there with like a bunch of comedy, watch Waiting. It's so good, Eric. <laughs> like so good. Okay, I was going to put this in a container. It's like determining which container I'm putting the hummus in. I think it's one of these. Slamming salmon? Do I know that one? Okay. I don't know if I want to. Ah! I didn't realize I still had the lid on the container. Ah! That's like trying to go to the bathroom with the toilet seat down. <laughs> Nothing good happens. <laughs> Thanks, Ron, by the way. He's like, it looks great, Kate. Ooh, I take it back. <laughs> I'm going to deal with that in a sec. I was distracted by Eric's slam and salmon and just the way that Sam giggled at it. And how he said, we can watch it if you want. What? Yeah, I just got cellophane. Wrecked. And then whenever I make those noises in here, Astra gets so pumped. She knows I effed up. She's like, what am I cleaning up? So the tail starts going. She's like, what did she eff up? I got this. Fifteen to eighteen minutes for the baguettes. Celtic is on a baguette adventure today. And he's taken us along on it. Okay. I did pretty good cleaning that out. I'm gonna try and scoop this. This spatula works really good. Obviously, we'll get a new lid. Okay, one more easy sauce up next. Our, like, creamy herbed yogurt. I'm just going to wash my hands. And we'll quickly make a tomato cucumber salad with feta. And then we got to cook these kofta skewers up. Rolling right along. Might as well just wipe the board off that I made messy. Yay! Ron! Holy smokes! My dude, also, it's great to see you. And I have to ask, friend, did you ever end up ordering an apron for yourself from the code that you won? I've been meaning to message you and ask. I was curious, but thank you for the thousand bits. We're now at 81% towards our goal to go to TwitchCon this year. Yeah, look at this hummus. It looks really nice and not too thick at all. So herbed yogurt sauce. We're gonna grab a little bowl We'll mix that up. Have a couple different herbs to use. Oh no. Precarious dish unloading. Not gonna make too much extra of this sauce though. So a bit smaller of a bowl. We'll go in these ones. Hey mom, how are you guys? And thanks for the 29 months in a row. Are we cooking on the barbecue? Yes, we are. It's the mama, Kate. 
So I'll grab my herbs. I don't know if the yogurt's over here or in the other fridge. Oh, I think I can salvage some dill. I have green onion as well. And then I'm just gonna put a little squeeze of that cilantro tube, I guess. Parsley would have been yummy as well. But that one's a hot commodity here. Boom. More cucumbers. No, Ron. Okay, well, can I help you figure it out then so that we can use that code up? I would love to see it get some use. Time to go attend the oven with this cooking. This is maybe worse than waiting for your first kid, Celtic says. <laughs> Why are you stressing so much, dude? It's okay. I'm sure at the end of the day, it'll still be edible. If I know bread, even when it's not that good, it's still good. Astra says moo. This, move this over. I'm just gonna take the roots off. A little bit more of this slimy, stringy stuff. So weird. Here we go. Trev, how are you? What you got cooking today? So that's all set up to chop. And an anonymous gifter. Gifting the sub to Remagian. I think that's how you say it. Remagian. Picking out some dill. Only the good parts. Because dill yogurt sauce, that's where the money is at. Okay, I'm happy with that. And whoa, we just kicked off a level two hype train? Thanks guys. Mom's doing good. 28 Celsius day. Whoa, nicer weather than us. Nicer than us, honestly. Going to Stoke for dinner? Mm, they're going to a really good pizza spot for dinner tonight, chat. I hope it is lovely then. Cooking day off today, Trev? Applesauce last night. FCB's crushing us with some subbies. Hi, FCB. <laughs> no chicken wings today on stream, though. Thank you for that, FCB. We can welcome in five new peeps to the kitchen crew. We got Auburn Dreams, JR Cloud Nine, Gas Huffin, The Perfect Hamburger, and Malkin's Jock. Wait, what? Trev successfully cooked through about 20 pounds of fruit this week. He made a bunch of applesauce last night. So he's taking the day off. FCB, how are you doing today? Okay, I'm gonna thinly slice this green onion for the yogurt sauce. Make it really nice and delicate.
And then I think next up, we start the grill. These onions are more of like a yellow onion, but it's fine. Still tasty. You're doing good, FCB? That is great to hear. Staying cool over there. We got a white tiger. How's white tiger today? Doing dragon things. There's that. We'll chop the dill next. Yeah, homemade applesauce is really good. I typically only buy like the unsweetened stuff from the store. Actually, Annie, Green Onions is one of the first jazz songs I played. I didn't know they named jazz songs after food. You're doing good, White Tiger, and the dragon is sleeping on your shoulder. How cute. Watermelon Man? What? Those are some of the names of the songs. Okay, just gonna go rinse my knife off and my hands because we got a little bit messy with the herbs. Perfect. And then I still didn't check if there was yogurt here. So I will do that too. Cantaloupe Island? And yum! FCB, ham, and twice baked taters tonight. Herbie Hancock? Hi, <laughs> channel one sweet. That is so interesting, Bonk. Jazz is closely linked with food since it originated in the Creole culture of New Orleans. Okay, just a bit of cilantro from the tube. Sag times that we're living in. Do like a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna go check the fridge for our yogurt. I think it's over on the other side though, if I can remember. Quite sure. And that answer is yes. And then while I'm over there, I'll also bring the bucket of feta over. Take this garlic back to the fridge. <laughs> These are surreal times. And thanks friends for the level two hype train. Thanks to everyone who contributed. And hello, Saloto. We got gifted seven subs and a thousand biddies. I got all of the level two emotes. If you would like the recipe, it's actually just this way around. You do exclamation mark first for the Twitch chat commands. Okay, I will be right back with yogurt and feta.
I have returned. And then there's not that much plain yogurt in here, so we'll do a mix of sour cream for me. Where is the feta dog? Oh, she's here. She's here, don't you worry. So I'll grab two spoons. Clean out this first. Just a plain Greek yogurt. And like, I wouldn't go too low in fat because the fat in this is actually not bad for you. Mmm. We did look for those too. I wanted to get the pickled turnips, Trev. Seems like we're having a hard time sourcing that stuff though again. And thank you, Ron. Holy smokes. Another thousand bits? Now at 82%? You guys have crushed like so much percentage already today. And yeah, for sure, Ron, we can help you out with that apron code. Since you are unsure, should have asked us earlier. Don't judge yogurt by its fat. right oh the dairy dog's looking at me she's like hey looks like you have a spoon that needs cleaning just wait there's gonna be two and then we for sure will need some salt and pepper for this sauce too Should be good amount. Yeah, can we judge feta by its fat though? Ooh, I don't know. And its origin, okay. Big words. Mish has let us know. I like the how this pepper grinder is grinding pretty coarse. Yeah, as long as we don't fetishize about it. It's supposed to be like fantasize. Mix it up. Herbed yogurt sauce. And then this is also one that like gets better as it sits. Get it all nicely even mixed up. That looks really good. Gonna use the yogurt spoon to have a little taste. Mmm. That's really good. It's nice and dilly right off the bat and then melds into like the light green onion flavor. And then the cilantro like kind of near the end, but that doesn't need anything else. That was so easy and so good. Hi, Scoots. She's waiting at the airport. Where are you going? Okay, going to put the sour cream away. Maybe we'll also just put this dip in the fridge for now. for the dairy dog. Clean out the yogurt container. Okay, now we're gonna set up the camera for outside. 
go light the grill so that we can cook some lamb. You're heading back to home. Went to somewhere for a concert, but they had to reschedule for COVID. Oh my goodness. So nothing even happened. Actually, before I go any farther, let's just do this. Boom. Reset the task manager. Yogurt makes really good sauces, right? Yeah, substitute it for mayo or just like combine it in there. Oh man, Annie, they're pretty much over it now though. Well, that's good. It's like at this point, who hasn't had it? Okay, I got a sneaky bathroom break. I'll be right back. I have returned. <laughs> yeah, next year, Annie. 100% I'm catching it, guaranteed. Okay. Camera. These are the sounds that we like. Whoa. Hi, green box box. Let's test. Holy smokes. I don't want to jinx it, but it worked on the first try. Knock, knock, knock on the wood. Wait. Wait, though. I didn't test it unplugged. I might have lied. I didn't lie. This is insane. Ron will return? Okay, see you in a little bit. The fact that this worked, that's wild. I will get the... That's cleaned. I will go grab the tripod. Oh, that's where it lives. Wait, where does it live? That is the question right now, chat. Where does the tripod live, Samuel? We got one here. We got this. Why do you want things to break? That's not very nice. We gotta take these moments when we get them. Nice, Annie, yeah, working on the kitchen all day. Hey, I'm in. We gotta get that finished up. Okay. Maybe 
Okay. Okay. Let's see. We got options. <laughs> Nike, my dude? Nike kinda just like fell off the earth again. I don't know why, like... Just because you can't sub to the channel doesn't mean you're not welcome here. I've never made people feel like that. Okay, I'm gonna go put this outside. See if I can set it up properly. And we'll test the view. It's so nice and warm out. Wow. It's like surprising. I'm not used to it. It's a pretty good view. Okay, let's go see Astra. That's right, Annie. Sometimes people do need to focus on fixing their own troubles. Look at those. Those are nice charcoals. Okay, that worked good then. Wahoo! We don't need this monstrosity. Uh, we still have to make the tomato cucumber salad. And I was planning on doing that kind of like while the grill was heating up. Maybe also as things are cooking. I'm gonna get everything kind of together for that first. As far as ingredients go, tomatoes and our cukes. We got our feta on the side, so that's perfect. Definitely not far off. And I love munching on this salad the next day, so I'll make a little bit extra. Scoots, thanks. <laughs> if I focused on fixing my troubles, this would be the last conversation we ever had. Guys, don't ignore your problems. Huge part of physical health is also paying attention to your mental health. So I know as much as we joke about it, it is a thing that we should do to help ourselves and everyone else around us too. Okay, just grabbing my iPad. So I can read chat while out there. How that is. Well, I don't know. Probably not at all. <laughs> okay, we're gonna use Sam's phone so we can read chat. Yeah, seems like a lot of work. We'll just do it tomorrow. I love the procrastination. I love that, Mish. It really helps my mental health just being here. Thanks, guys. Hey, outside. Oh, that was the wrong, wrong thing. Not small. This one. Okay, see you out there. See you out there. We need a grill glove. 
mix up all the charcoals. It's gonna get lit. Lit. Oh, I just saw the biggest bumblebee go by. So cute. Exactly, Weasel. Just like how the weed you wanted to pull out weeks ago turned into flowers. <laughs> I know someone was going to mention that. Thank you for that, Annie. What's going on down here? Okay, still got a pretty good airflow as far as the ashes go. So we stir this up. All of the burnt ashes will fall through the grate. And we do this so we get good even airflow for the fire. You bung up the air holes, well, you can't really have the greatest fire. It'll just suffocate. We have a lot of small chunks inside of here right now, I'm noticing. I'm gonna use my little coal tool. I'm gonna group this all into the center. We'll put some bigger pieces around the edge. But yeah, all of these, like, let's call it spent charcoal. All the pieces that have been lit before are gonna light really quickly. But it also means that they're gonna burn really quickly too. Oh, do you remember, Annie? All the problems we had to smoke from the forest fires? Are you talking about here or elsewhere? Because I know, like, there's a bunch of spots that I've been dealing with that. go with that amount and I'm gonna put my glove back on so this is how it's looking so we're just gonna pile it back up and then we're gonna get it lit with the loof lighter oh yes it drifted up north that's right heck I honestly have like forgotten about all of these happenings because there's always a new thing if it's not one thing, it's another. And so because we're just cooking right over the coals for this, we don't like have to make a massive, massive fire. We just are really working towards having an even bed of coals to cook over more than prolonging the heat for an extended period of time. I'm just kind of spreading out some of the new pieces of charcoal too with the old. Now I think we're good to go. Are you guys loving this view? Or not really? I'm not really sure how I feel about this. I guess with the loof lighter coming in though, it should get better. Hey, we got a Bob in here. How's Bob? Does this like just reach? <laughs> That's magical. Okay right onto it is this the heat side yes the smaller nubs first quote of the show so far remember don't bung up your air holes you're welcome bob Pro tips, only here on Cook With Kate. Don't change that dial. Yep. 
We got sparks. We got sounds. We got things happening. Watch your face. Your arms, your body, your clothes. Ah! Let's switch to some air now. Try not to smoke my own cell phone. Oh. Okay, give me one sec. I gotta go close Rando's window. I gotta close the window. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and we're good. <laughs> okay, a little bit more air now. Go back over this way. Spread out the heat. It smells so good. This is my favorite charcoal by far. I'm just gonna put the glove on. Pile a couple bits on top of here, but this is gonna get happy real quick. If I know this eggy. Just come a bit closer. Kinda wanna just move this whole thing a bit over. There we go. Yeah, usually I pile it up a bit higher, add a little bit more air, and then it really gets ripping for us. And then we just break it back down after. So simple. That'll do. Check down here one more time so all the vents should be open. And then next time before we use this egg, we definitely gotta vacuum out some ash. But for this cook, it's good. I'm just gonna close the screen door too. Just this sound is like one of my favorites. The quiet crackle of the coals.
It's a salmon. Okay, we're back. We're backity back. I got a little bit of charcoal hand, so I'm just gonna wash these up and then I'll make our tomato cucumber salad. So far, I think we made a really good fire. So I think we'll have to cook the skewers not top down because it seemed like the meat kind of wanted to fall off. Just a little bit heavy. So I'll have to cook them like just over the grate. Do we have potato here? Yeah, we have potato. Okay. If you want to do top down, if not, then just put it on the grid. Okay. Touch softer on the crust than you would have liked, but you think they should be good. Good job. And I mean, you might just have to crank up the heat a bit more for that then. Yeah, the waiting is the hardest part. One big bowl. Okay, that's so distracting seeing the stream on the phone. And that's true actually, Annie. They probably will get crunchy if you just let them sit. Crunchy crispy. Okay, first let's do the cucumbers. Persian cukes would say for the most part, these all look perfect. There's this one right here that has a little blemish. Nice. This is our friend from yesterday chat. Remember they found us? Fellow Canadians as well. Thanks for the raid guys. Welcome, 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 welcome. I am Kate. Welcome to my kitchen or what we call a kitchen. Let's say kitchen studio setup. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to my kitchen studio. Today we are cooking a menu request for a fellow community member. We call our people a kitchen crew here. So I saved up the Twitch channel points just watching. And so we're making a lamb kofta plate. Also cooking with fire. So I was just outside starting the fire. I'll give you a quick little sneak peek of that coming up. The lamb kofta skewers are going to be cooked over charcoal so that's where she's at right now in the big green egg and then while we're waiting for that to heat up we're just making a quick tomato cucumber salad with some feta sprinkled on top how was your stream what did you get up to welcome in everyone from it and hope you're having a good day some kid on your plane going down there scoots was playing the chicken wing song yes So we're going to tip and top all of these Persian cucumbers, chunk them up. Earlier on stream, so we did our own fresh ground lamb. We cleaned up a whole lamb leg and then grounded ourselves, put in all these fresh spices, aromatics, form the kofta on the skewer. And then we've also done our homemade hummus and herbed yogurt dressing or sauce. Sci-Fi Gal 13, thank you for the follow. Okay, you stream out of the restaurant. So cool. Okay, I don't think I actually gave you a follow yesterday, so I'm gonna do that now. It was hot and long. Hopefully it doesn't get too much hotter. Followed. Nice one. Yeah. <laughs> Scooter. I know that song. It's actually the best. Okay, so we're going to cut all this in half. I think we'll go two by twos. 
what what was the biggest selling menu item today let's ask at the restaurant We will go three by three since that's how it's lining up. It's really great. Have you been to the restaurant? Okay, so I think we'll cut these in like one inch lengths just so it's a bit more chunky. I don't like when the cucumber gets too soggy in the salad. So don't cut it too small. Thanks for doing that shout out, Scooter. I am very good, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. I do try my best to make the most delicious food possible. I hope to inspire others to do the same. Next up, we're gonna have some cherry tomatoes or grape tomatoes, whatever you know them by. And then I already have a dressing in the fridge made for this. It's a Greek dressing that I make in my blender. So that's all we're gonna toss this with. And then like I said, we'll sprinkle the feta over after. I don't love when it's mixed in the feta. It gets a little bit lost sometimes in these salads. And I'm also going to take a peek at the grill again. Oh, yeah. Okay, maybe actually we'll go out there. Spread out these coals. And then we're going to put the grill grate on. Whoa, didn't mean to slam it. Yeah, feta in the salad, right? So dang good. This is lighting so nice. Told you it would. And holy, just the heat coming off of these coals, like you don't expect it. It's actually wild. You really have to stand back. Okay, now we're gonna even out the heat here. Just gotta get this guy in the center. Didn't really get lit yet. Come on this side. There we go. Like, holy, that is so dang hot. I believe grape and cherry tomatoes are actually different scoots. Okay, put it on my glovey. Get this on, and then we'll start burning it off. I'm gonna put it on this way. And then we'll also start closing up the vent. So this. Close like almost all the way. And then we're gonna close this as well. And then there's this dial on top that we have to open. So I'm just gonna put you guys down. I can do that. <laughs> the meat, the meat box in the back. But sometimes it's really hard to open this. It gets like a little bit stuck. Oh, huh. Okay, it's like legitimately stuck together. Is this the case right now? 
I don't know what Sam told me it happened last time. No, it's not. Okay. Amazing. So I will open up this top vent. I'll show you how much. It looks like it's about like half. Maybe actually close it down a little bit more. And this is how we start to control the heat of the fire. You don't want it to get out of control. And I'll just turn it this way to myself. And then usually we like to grill over a 500 degree Fahrenheit coals is what the temp gauge will read. So we're just gonna leave this view for now and let this start to even out. And we'll come back and scrape off the grill grates. Are you coming, Astra? So yeah, it really doesn't take long to prep a charcoal grill. Just a little bit more like babysitting, let's say. Come back to here. Oh, other way. There we go. Okay, now I'm washing my hands again. And we'll finish off this salad. Everything has timed out really nice today. I don't feel like I've been rushing through anything either. Just been taking my time, doing everything properly. And we're just over the three hour mark. A little bit of smoke went up in my nose. Is it a certain type of charcoal flavor wise? Yes, Weasel. Yeah, so I use the big green egg charcoal, but they also have an American and Canadian version of it. I think I use the Canadian one. I don't remember what wood it is. I feel like it's oak. It's maple, really? Yeah. Cool, so yeah, maple wood is the charcoal and it smells so good. It makes the food taste really good. Okay, Curtis is getting some cleaning done. We know that feeling. No one else does it after stream. Yeah, the American one is made from freedom. I think that one is actually oak. Oak oak? It's hickory? Oak and hickory blend. Okay, so we basically used every single cherry tomato. Success. Now we're gonna cut them in half. Oak oak? We don't know where he's been at. This is going to be insanely delicious. And you always have this option of like whether you eat the lamb kofta with the pita on the side or you just stuff everything into the pita and eat it like that. Yeah, so I think these are grape tomatoes, and so they're more like oblong, like elongated. And then the cherry tomatoes are very round little ones. Yeah, that tomato looks terrible, Kate. I'll just take care of it for you. Don't these all look so good? And they're grown right here in our province. Love that. Love that for us. Oak and hickory are very popular in the U.S. It is those of us that go out to the berry farms and get the trimmed blueberry and stuff that are nutcases. Whoa. Really? Oh no, Mish. A big spider crawled across the floor. Don't know where it went. She is not sleeping tonight. It's keeping you company. Weasel, you're just like Sam. I love tomatoes and salt. Tomato and cucumber are like, well, I know tomatoes a fruit, but they're my favorite vegetable-esque things. OK, 
Okay, wipe that up. The juices. Ooh. I even have some fresh basil leaves to tear up into here. Ah, uh, yeah. Because my plants, it's still somehow growing. Somehow. It's holding on to life. Pair those up and then we'll mix it. I'll grab the dressing. It's true, actually, Weasel. It's better to actually keep the spiders because they eat more of the bad bugs. So obviously, if it's like a poisonous spider, then don't. <laughs> That's what I always say to Mish. It's like, I don't mind bugs as long as they're not in my space. Like, they don't belong inside, really. They should be outside. Smoking with blueberry, chicken, duck. That is wild. Yeah, we're not eating in bed, so why would the spider? It's gonna eat Mish. Late night. Smorgasbord. Okay, I'm gonna grab the dressing. We will have to add some salt still to this. Some salt and pep to the veggies for sure. And then this might have to warm up a bit. It's quite thick. It wants to sit down beside her. She will go out and feta. In flames, no. In feta. Grab a spoon. Oh, hear its nasty little legs going across the carpet. <laughs> Who can guess what Misha's first comment in the stream was? Oh my goodness, this is going to be good. What are you cooking right now, she says. <laughs> I wish we could line up what I said back to her. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> Hi, Lily. The spider wants to eat the feta, and since Mish is made of feta, it was feta. Okay, Greek dressing, or anything else that you like to eat with your tomatoes and cucumber. This one just looks really thick right now because it's got olive oil and feta inside of it, but the dressing is still cold. I'm working on getting it through this very small spout. Those are the moments when you squeeze too hard, though, and you get a little bit more than what you bargained for. Let's see how this does. I'm not, like, super dressing it. No soggy salad allowed. Mish was making cinnamon buns? Oh, that was actually the perfect amount of dressing. I don't think we need any more than that. Distributed all the basil around too. Everything's nicely coated. Look at that. Have a piece. Little bit more salt. That was on March 15th, 2020. Aww. 
<laughs> yeah, what was the first mention of feta? How did this begin? Like two, over two years ago? What? 2020? This is when time just starts to meld together. Like that doesn't even make sense in my head. Weird. Okay, let's go check on the grill again. Make sure it's not getting too hot because it's harder to cool it down than to heat it up. I will see you out there in a sec. Yeah, the FBI doesn't stalk people. Come on. It's allowed. Astra's been watching the grill for us too. Look at her. Look at her. Oh, cooker dog. You're so good. Okay, we gotta open it up. We gotta open this vent up. Look, she's at 300. But like I said, easier to heat it up than cool it down. And then if we also do this, get some air flowing into there. Could even do this. It's better to have an even bed of coals than to have out of control coals. And then we're also working at the same time to like heat up the ceramic too, right? I think it's good. I'm gonna see if I can just add some more air if that'll make it go quicker. And the answer is yes. Yes. Man, that loof lighter is actually the best. Okay, so we'll close that back up. We allowed for more airflow. And we will come back and check it out one more time. Wasn't a hundred percent on your baguettes, but you'll call it an 80%, maybe even 85. The pics have been posted. Okay, just gonna hang out here for a moment to make sure that this is gonna start going up in heat. It is. Okay. Going back in. What is what apple avocado? Just be a little bit more descriptive because there's always different stuff happening here. Misha's like, perfect, Annie. So then do that. Go through every comment. The machine, the like fire lighter, it's called a Luft lighter or a big green igniter. And it is like a very powerful heat element that adds heat as, <coughs> Pepper got me, excuse me. <clears throat> as well as the option of air to start your fire quicker. And then you're not using any chemicals either. Yeah, look, a cow and a goat had a baby. They named it Feta. I'm gonna put Sam's phone on this charger over here. Cow and goat made a feta. Hi, Kate bots. Cool. We got some bots at our Kate's coming in. How are you? We used up the last of our feta today for Mish. 
And there is no jalapenos in this salad, Weasel. Yep. We go a little less spicy, usually, just because my sister-in-law has a sensitive palate. So let's fish out some feta. I know that there's not a ton in here. So I'm just going to use a slotted spoon. You're going all right. That's good to hear. Thanks for popping by and thanks for the follow. So I know that there was this chunk. I know it's not a ton, but it's better than nothing. Imagine if it's empty. I just catfished you with a bucket of brine. Is this my home kitchen? Well, it's not really a home kitchen, but this is the studio that I work out of, yes. We've streamed in all sorts of uh, kitchens and areas over the last four and a half years. Well, yeah, we live here, but there's like not a legitimate kitchen with like a kitchen sink, cupboards, stuff like that, if you think about it, right? So I can't really call it like a kitchen per se. It's like a cooking studio. It's a temporary setup. Exactly, Lily. Lily knows. We got some crazy future goals here. Okay, that's all I could scoop out. I'm just gonna crumble it in this container for us. And then once we plate up the salad, I will put the feta on top of that on the plates. Ah, uh, thanks, Kate Bots. Yeah, we're slowly like commingling a lot of restaurant equipment to make a mobile stream setup go on the road, go meet some of our community members, hold some pop-ups, stuff like that. <laughs> and he scrolls through a, a woo-woo sauce convo back in 2020. Yeah, a mobile truck. So we already have the truck and we just have to build it out. But since the kitchen equipment keeps going up in price first, we're just slowly accumulating all of that. Mobile commissary. Hey, AM Saucy. I thought you were following before, but alas, you weren't. Welcome back. Welcome. Yeah, thanks so much. Uh, it's a dream of mine and my husband's to basically be like a digital nomad sort of setup. And since COVID happened, we haven't been able to travel as much as we would like to. So we thought that we would just build our own safe space to travel with, just in case something happens in the future again. <laughs> That's so funny, AM Saucy. I thought so too, Kate. So I fixed it. Thanks for fixing it. It feels right now. What, Weasel? Keep buying scratch tickets so I can hook you up, but no wins yet. My dude, thank you. Okay, we got things to put away. I'm super happy with how everything is looking and we are dialing in our charcoal grill outside. So we can just leave our salad here. I am gonna put the dressing back in the fridge. No, there's nothing quite to look at there just yet. Let's see if she is at the right temp because then we can come in, grab our lamb and start cooking. <laughs> Annie, adorable. I don't see a feta comment by March. I'm giving up. Well, yeah, you went through a whole year. Yes, we are creeping up. Creeping up to the heat we want. Just to show you guys. So we're at like just past 400. And we should get up to closer to five. And yeah, sometimes if I tap this, it goes higher. And there's our bottom vent. So actually 
like letting in quite a bit of air still. There's our top vent. Why don't we clean off the grill grate here at this moment? I'll just grab the brush and then we can let that heat keep on evening out. Yeah, it's getting happy. Nice even bed of coals. Just put my mitt on. Good. And yeah, do you see all the pollen on everything? I think it's almost done, but we have like continually wiped this for at least a month now. Like this is gonna be awesome to cook over. So let's close it back up and we'll start prepping for cooking. So I'll just go back in and change the view. Hold tight. And he found the first mention of feta from Miss Mish. <laughs> Eighteen oh four. Feta doesn't really melt. Is that back when they were doing the TikTok fetas? Just washing the charcoal off. So I need one more sheet pen, maybe a pair of tongs for cooking the lamb. I think that's pretty much it. A thermometer if you want to bring it out to temp the internal, see how it's cooking along. But yeah, other than that, tomato cucumber salad. We got our garlic hummus there that we made earlier. I'm gonna put these cucumbers away. The tahini into the fridge. Hmm. Happy Feta Christmas! We'll bring our herb yogurt out. We got our pita breads. Maybe I'll give the pitas uh, just a kiss on the heat. <laughs> you guys remember last time we tried that and they just went to pita chips instead? Oops. Oopsies. I will also say this, we have not made a ton of dishes today. This has been really enjoyable. And it was highlighted, nice, yeah. Garlicky hummus. And yeah, Samo already put the dishes on for us, so thanks to him for that. Okay, I'm gonna pour the feta brine out. The sacrificial.
Oh, pouring that uh, brine out just reminded me of a TikTok that we watched the other day that was very triggering for us. Has anyone seen this TikTok of a dude straining his pasta over the toilet? I can't. <laughs> and then he like undoes the toilet seat and he's like, you can just lift off the seat to transport it back to the kitchen. There were no words said as we're watching this. <laughs> we're just like looking at each other. <laughs> oh, shoot. The ghee spot. Oh, yeah, when Mish was going to open a, a ghee factory. That's right. A little poop on your pasta never hurt. He, like, screwed. Put screws all around the toilet seat and then put elastic bands across the screws to make, like, a webbing for a strainer. Literally pours it over and he's like... Just close, close the toilet seat a couple times to get all the water out. And he just like lifts it up. We're like, oh my God. <laughs> a little bit frowned upon, we can say. Okay. I am set up. I will see you guys out there in a moment. Yeah, it's extra flavor. Umami. Wow. Mary, neighbors gave you smoked salmon and it's tasty. That's always good. And crucifix, made something so simple but so good. Those are usually the best things ever. What was it? Okay, grabbing these tongs. I'm just gonna layer the kofta onto here before I go. If anyone's wondering, this is how these are. And these have just been temping up for us. So they cook really even on the grill. Even ground our own lamb this morning. Okay, see you out there. Pineapple teriyaki brats with onions? Steamed with a scampi butter sauce. Yum. Sounds like a bunch of different flavors going on. But if you say it's good, I would try it. Yeah, you hear me trip and it's just like the hugest commotion ever. Okay, we're at around 450, which I am honestly like okay with. So one way to open this, when it gets up to temp, we don't just like open the lid because you'll burn your eyebrows off in your face. So you do what's called burping. That. Yeah. Check out our bed of coals. Beautiful. I don't think we want anything different than that. And look at the cooker dog. So cute. I'm going to start placing the koftas onto the grill. Make sure you're happy with wherever you place them because we're not going to move them for a bit. And then I'm also going to just close down the bottom vent fully because you have the lid open for cooking now. So that's our extra airflow. And we leave a little bit of space in between each skewer so that we keep good airflow. <laughs> My bro's watching from the side just like, yes. And that looks absolutely insane. How many times will we move them? Up to four, because you can kind of put four sides on it, but hopefully just two. Hell yeah. That's insane. Daff, how did you know we were thinking about you today? We're like, where is he? And that, how funny is that you're making the same thing with the same skewers we have? 
Good to hear from you, my dude. And you just got the tahini. Perfect. That is so handy, Mary. We really miss living on the island and like just getting free fish all the time from our fishermen friends. Yeah, you're here. Everyone's saying, where's Daph? And yeah, I said, you're the one that showed us these skewers. Okay, also watch the flare ups, right? A little bit of flare ups okay with the flames. If it starts getting too much though, make sure we are able to move that away. And yeah, my bottom vent is completely closed. I'm gonna take this sturdy sheet pan away. Uh, I wouldn't fish in the main river here, Mish. And then yeah, if you can't move the kofta, obviously it's not time to flip it. But if you're worried, use tongs to peek. But usually grilled meats will tell you when they're ready to flip. So I'm also just gonna give this a little close for a sec. I would rather, I think, fish in the lakes here, Mish, because the lake fish are better. Okay, you got COVID. Did you get it while you went to Costa? That sucks, my dude. Hopefully feeling better now. And then I'm just going to take a photo of this too. Can you guys hear the sizzles? Halibut are really big, yep. Okay, let's test. It says not yet. That's what it's telling me. But very, very close. Because that one I almost peeled completely off. Uh, what spices did we use? We actually followed this recipe from Serious Eats just to a T. I didn't put anything special in. So yeah, check out the first one linked there. What was it guys? Like onion, garlic, cumin, coriander, paprika. Uh, what else was in there? Yeah, just coffee it. Hi Lord Velos, how are you? Okay. It's starting to loosen off. That's okay if you use shallots. I don't see that being bad. Cause yeah, this is the hottest part of the grill on this side it seems. Okay, there was just one little bit there that wanted to stick. So now, ouch. Okay, they are really getting charred up, but honestly, that's gonna be flavor. So I'm probably only gonna char the two sides. And that's not even a bad char. That's like straight up flavor town. Literally so dang hot. 
can only keep my hands over the fire for like a minute or two. Ah, flip over, you silly butt. You can see the little bit of red color too. That's from the charcoal. I mean, there's a little bit of paprika in the recipe. I don't think that much though. And obviously the metal skewers get really hot. Like I'm starting to feel that through my glove. And I don't love how this is flaring up. So we're probably gonna work on cooling down the coals after this. No, a little bit stuck. Okay, I'm gonna close this. Just come back for a sec. This is like the smoke rolling out. Yeah, look at all the pollen, insane. My hand is so hot, my other one with the tongs. You can tell, it's like my fingers are all red, but not too hot. Then I'm just gonna watch. Yeah, it's okay. That's like straight up steam. It's not super hot here. I mean, this has been the hottest day off in a while, Daff. But yeah, really pleasant for like outdoor grilling. Closing that down as well. We are putting all of the smells into the neighborhood. Peek again, we can. Burp it. Insane. Then that's called flogging. So you keep a lot of the steam inside to cook it through rather than getting direct heat. We got a wasp. We got a wasp coming in and actually a spider just came out. Spider wants to F it up. He almost caught it. Sweet. Nice. Underside of these, cooking perfectly, you guys. So I think we're good now to leave this back open. And then if we see, the farthest side is not cooked as much as over here. So we're just gonna switch those around. And then I think I'll go grab the thermometer because I feel like these are pretty much done. So I'll be back in a moment. Hi, Cookie, how are you? Okay, I'll be right back. Just gonna run. sounds are insane. I think we good guys. That read 147. Okay, this one a bit more. It's only at like 120. Yeah, end one is complete. So we'll start taking the ones off that look done. There we go. And now the juices are just dripping. Busy, busy day cookie. 
hopefully in like the best way. This is insane. Astra also agrees. She had to leave the premises. One thirty on that. Yeah, this was Misha's points, guys. Hello, fire cooking. I don't know why, but this is just such a fun way to cook, guys. Give yourself a little challenge. Yeah, Annie's back down with his points. He spent some today. These center ones taken off. Yeah, I'm glad I did. It was getting a little bit dark. I think we're all good now, except for this one on the very end. We'll move her to the middle, because look at that. Just one last skewer. It could be already be close to being done. Yeah, see? Ouch, it's so hot. We're good. Yeah, beautiful. Okay, guys. That's our fire cooking. Do we want a quick little heat of the pita? Last time it got super duper crispy. So maybe first we'll do this. Just close this down. Same with the top. Kind of just get more of the direct heat away. Ooh, Indonesian curry. I was wondering what it was, Annie. Okay, I will just leave you out here with this view currently. I'll be back. Ah, oh, from the Spice Trail, nice one. I must be feeling better if I'm like running around again, hey? That's nice. Soapy water wash. Oh. Charcoal hands. Use the older pitas first. Is making sure the wasps don't get in the kofta. Pita breads. Heck yeah, Celtic. Sharing is caring. I think there's six in here. Yeah, six pita breads. We will definitely use the tongs. Hot, hot coals. Shut her down.
just like a little soften up. Junior ATK2, thank you for the follow. Mmm, beef with potatoes and muslim curry. Yeah, yum. Yum, Omish. And yeah, I'm not worried about the lamb right now because it's resting anyways before we eat it. Oh, there's a masaman even. I just opened this and the pitas are like black. That literally worked so good. Just like a little grill mark and they're so nice and soft now. Not just crunched up. I'm not trying to make pita chippies. Okay. Donezo. Done with that. We close it up. We close this completely, which it already is. We close the bottom vent completely, it already is. We bring the foods inside. Do this and this and this first so it doesn't fly away. And this, and I will be back. Yeah, Mary, he said he put pics in Discord. Come on, girl. Good. Good job. We're back inside. Done with Samuel's phono. Let's grab the meats. Made it smell real good outside. We did. Like what? What the heck? <laughs> I did almost trip there. Honestly, look darker than they got, but I'm okay. I'll eat those ones. It's like super crispy. The lamb fat. How hot are the skewers still? Not that bad. But yeah, you get a mix of like char and not, right? Because the inside is not charred. Just going to go grab my phone. So I can use it for a photo. My nose is running. It's fine. Torino, glad to hear it. Glad to hear you're having a nice chat with your BFF. <laughs> it's not burnt. Trust, you will tell on my face. If it is burnt, I will tell you. It is bitter. Not tasty. I think we did okay though. We lost Samo to a cat nap. I'm just cleaning all the charcoal off of my fingers. go. <laughs> I 
Mad Palooza. Yeah, where have you been? As well. We missed ya. What the heck? Showing up for sure at the wrong time. Okay, I have two plates here. But that's it. <laughs> two plates for plating. Let's just move this over. Make some room. How does Sam feel about French cuisine? I think he likes it, Mary. Yeah, these are nice and softened up, but they do get crunchy really quick. Do this. Yeah, that's right, Bob. Kate, I just got here. Can you start over? Thank you. Someone's gonna eat it out of a bowl. His name is Sam. Astra. You gotta wake up, Uncle. Wake up, Uncle. Yeah, tell Uncle. She's too good. She won't tell him. She won't be like, Uncle, it's ready. That's okay, though. Maybe the first thing we should scoop is the salad. Do the hot stuff last, just cause it's kind of juicy. Just a day of sleeping, like the legend you are. It's pretty legendary, it's true. Jealous. Sam is learning from you right now, I suppose. My bro, I know he doesn't need a ton of veggies. It's still good together, so I'll give him that. We'll sprinkle all the feta for the salad. That was a very tomato heavy scoop there. There we go. Feta for the mish. Mmm. Annie, I'm sure at the market I could find them. The sun golds. But I haven't been seeing them in the store here. My absolute, one of the faves for sure. Okay, there's that. Maybe the next one we'll do is our hummus. And I'm just gonna grab a spoon actually for this. We're gonna do like a swipe of the hummus. Yeah, astra has got his plate, that's right. Perfect. Hummus for the pita. Just like swipe it around the side of the dish. I haven't done a plate like that in so long. Like, whoa, it kind of felt weird. It's like, do chefs still do that? <laughs> oh, shoot. Okay, next one, the koftas and then the pita. I think we'll put the pita on the plate first. Just like lay the kofta skewer on top. I'm gonna do this one just for like the photo. And then the boys I'll just slide right off. Ooh, I told you it was juicy. 
And then this is the other thing. Oh, it slid off so easily. The dog cannot be closer. Like inches from my feet. So if anything falls on the ground, you know where it's going. ASAP. Mary! Another cook with Sammy? <laughs> As he's like asleep, doesn't even know what's happening. Shakrut Garni from the Le Crusette cookbook. I know that one. That'll be uh, definitely a fun one. We've never done that before. So good one. Look at that lamb fat. Okay, and then lastly, our sauce. I know Sam doesn't need a sauce dish. And then, what do we feel? Do we need a little bit of like olive oil on the hummus? Sometimes it looks really nice when you do that. Mm. Will I be able to pour a small amount though? Yeah, Torino, it needs ketchup, Kate. This bottle, I tell ya. Give me a run for my frickin' money. <laughs> I love how I say that every stream. I don't know since when they pour just so terribly. Okay. Photo. Otherwise it didn't happen. Just gonna bump up my lights for this as well. No, that does not fit there. Turn this a little bit this way instead. Yeah! Sometimes it's all about that top down. Okay, done. Look it, I got sweaty outside. That's how you know, we did good. Okay, I'm gonna bring brands over. Earthquake the one in there. Right, Astra? Earthquake him. Okay, I'll be right back. Chat, don't eat it. Nobody touch it. Only one allowed is Mish. Hello? Hello? 
Astra, say uncle. Uncle. <laughs> he does exist. Ask and you shall receive. <laughs> 37 seconds for the kofta, 23 seconds to spoon slide the rest into his face hole. That's Bob's <laughs> guesstimation here. Excuse me. First off, we just need to get right into this. Yeah, that looks nummies. It looks like a little bit dry, but that doesn't mean that it's going to feel dry. Because something about breadcrumbs like holds in that moisture, right? Super flavorful. Does it taste burnt? Not at all. It is a little bit dry. And like, I put a lot of fat in the mince. Hmm. As far as the cook goes, like 10 degrees less, probably. But Sam says no. Maybe I'm being too particular. The yep. flavor is insane. So thank you for that, Mish. And like, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> Pick up the sausage, dip it in the yogurt sauce that's with the recipe. Blondie's starving now, my dude. I would feed you this. Mmm. Mmm. Got like a good garlicky bit there. See how this one melted out? Mm-hmm. Just as good, if not better, than store-bought that hummus. It's really yummy. I mean, it was a pretty high-quality tahini that we used as well. And then just our little salad on the side palate cleanser and Mish said she needed feta so this was an easy vessel mm. money this is like the style of food of food I crave all throughout the summer and yeah it's 4 30 we have like one hour to chill before we go. Hour and a half currently still. Hour and a half currently, he says. Mmm. Just got a bite of the salad with some of the fresh torn basil. That's a really nice surprise. I love how Rando kept checking as I was cooking these because it just smelled so good, he said. Like, look at it. my face is so sweaty. It was good outside. That was good cooking. I'm gonna go for one big bite. And like, I've not had a ton of koftas in my life, but I think this was a good rendition I made. We didn't make the pitas today. If I made the pitas, I would be like quite tired right now. I'm still resting up from earlier this week, Venus. But what we did do was clean a whole lamb leg and grind that ourselves. So I thought that was a better usage of my energy. Mm. That's a bite. <laughs> yeah, I almost forgot to close the window. That would have been deadly, Annie. I think it was just wafting in through the screen door. Mm-hmm. I think like the fresh ground lamb, there's nothing chewy about this. 
Like, it's really lovely. You can taste the love. There's Samos. Really? You only have like one and a half kofta pieces. So that just shows how filling it is too. So calculate this way. Our lamb leg was $42. We got one, two, three portions out. Four, five, six, seven portions of lamb. If we each just have one skewer, which you see Sam could barely even finish. So seven portions of lamb from $42, so $6 a portion. Six times seven is 42. Why are we doing math right now? So yeah, six bucks a portion for lamb like this. I don't think you can really beat that. Than the sheesh one that we had. And like Sam said, it's better than the one that we just tried the other day from a shawarma spot that said they are the best in the city. She's like, oh, we're the best in the city. So we're like, okay. Cause like we've only had it from one other spot before that. Samo said mine's better. Yeah, leave the math to Annie. Hi. <laughs> oh. oh, thank you. For the feta dog. Thank you for all your services. Lemmit. That turned out. Did you feel at all eating your kofta that it tasted burnt? On the one like charred side or was it tasty? Because we said we would let them know. <laughs> Definitely Catch is better than Posh. She's got a few years younger. <laughs> Posh's eyesight at the end of her days. Not top notch. Oh, that doggle. Mmm. I just got a bite of the kofta with like some cinnamon in it. That is so good. Thanks, Mish, for this awesome request. Thanks for hanging out the whole cooks. I know it is getting a bit late there for you. But holy smokes. That eats like good hot, it eats yeah. good lukewarm, and even cold the next day. Yum. What do you and yeah, you got two redemptions today, by the way. Another one from Mary. I just have to like blot my face right now. Let's just take some of the sweat away. Whoa. Ash just growling. Holy! What you need? Roo roo! You need some stuff? I don't think she should have that though. So why are you getting her so excited? I was just talking to her. Oh, okay. She's talking back. Well, she thinks that you're gonna give her something. Trying to figure out if you have one more batch of bread in you tonight? Celtic, yeah, like Annie said, hardcore. So how funny is this? Were you here when we were talking about Daff earlier? And we were like wondering where he is. So look who popped in. <laughs> and what is he making today at home? That, Lamb koftas. That's funny. Pro dude, pro. Okay, I'm, I'm looking on Twitch. Who are we gonna go raid? We can definitely say this was a successful stream. Good garlicky aftertaste. Back up. Over there. Oh, over there. I'm looking. You're defrosting the lamb right now. Boom. Bash bunny. So we manifested the, the fuck. Yeah. Did Nike come in? No. Damn it. That one didn't happen. I don't know where I want to go drop you guys. Tea party. A tea party prep? Oh, it's Pink Bow. Yeah. <laughs> she must have got the idea from us. That's hilarious. Let's go do that then. Pink Bow Patisserie. We know them. 
Yeah, I haven't even heard from him. I like sent him some merch that he won, but then I never heard back from him. So I don't even know if he got it or not. And we'll be back tomorrow, my wonderful peoples. 11 a.m. Pacific, one more time. We will be cooking up some brunch. We got lovely blueberries fresh, so we're gonna make some pancakes. Easy peasy. Look at this guy. He's making a tea in my Twitch bottle. And yeah, thanks for posting the sub raid, Annie. Let's go see how Pink Bow is doing. They're over on the island where we used to be. And she like basically has a little home patisserie where she makes stuff for people in the area, just like what we used to do. Copy and pasta. Okay. If you want any of the recipes that we cook today, they're all posted in Discord. So pop on over there, search for them if you have to. Other than that, guys, lovely stream today. Thanks so much for the awesome bits, the subbies, all of the above. Annie, thanks for the tip again. It was a good one. And thanks once more to Mish. This stream was for you. Thanks for taking the time. Just watching and asking us to make this today because we haven't yet. Another check off of the list. Okay, we're gonna go do deliveries later tonight. If you need us, you know where to find us. Discord, Twitch, anywhere else. Sammy, say bye. Astra, say bye. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye!